Can you dig it? Woo, 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 woo. Oh my word! Welcome everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the. Um, I suppose it's the second. Yes, it is the second episode of yeah. Wardy Morat's Dragon Heist, which I'm extremely excited about. Uh, I'm just going to check this, the chat. My chat doesn't seem to be functioning properly, so give me two seconds. I'm just going to make sure this is in proper for you guys so we can see all those wonderful things uh, that you say uh, during the chat. So Bob, pop something on the chat just so I can see if I can test this because I might have to completely reload it because all of... Oh, I have noticed actually all of my uh, browser stuff has stopped working. So this is going to be an interesting, yeah. interesting day. Yeah. Exactly, rock and roll. Oh, so yeah. just give me a second. Yeah, I'm just baby. going to very, very quickly just throw in some browsers um, because, you know, that's what we do. Prefer uh, them browsers. Mama exactly. Thorpe's here. Shout out to yeah. Mama Thorpe. Hello, Mama oh, Thorpe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, is Neomancer here. is here. Testing, one, two, three. We hear you loud and clear, Neomancer. Mm -hmm. Yay. So let's have a look. Yep. If you could pop something on the chat, let's uh let's see if you guys are there. Awesome sneeze like there, Gabs. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, hi, hi, please. hi. We can see you. Fantastic. So if you just bear with me while well, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna see how everyone is doing today. Uh, because I'm going to have to sit in the background and fix loads of stuff as we talk. So that's going to be fun. Um, but uh, I want to say massive thank you to the guys who hung out with us yesterday. Had so much fun like doing the level up videos yesterday. Uh, and it returned into such a wonderful day of just, hey, let's just hang out and chat and talk about classes and stuff. So massive thank you for that. I really appreciate yeah, it. I was hungover when filming that one. I don't know if that came across. <laughs> yeah, oh, Stuart, well, Stuart has already asked, how was the, uh, how was the hangovers? It was just too <laughs> fucking early in the morning that you dragged me out of bed. It was literally half ten. That's like the break of day. That's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real oh, nice. Well, we, we might as well start with you, uh, really, then, Robin. See how you're doing today. <laughs> Much better. Much yeah. better today. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got up at a reasonable time and then never left my bed until now. But it's all right because it's seven o'clock and that's like the afternoon. So um, I'm good. I'm very good today. No qualms. Been playing a bit of The Witcher. Loving that Switch life. Oh, of course, and, yes. Yeah. And my hair is growing. Are you going to shave great. it again? Or are you going to wait until the barber's open? Uh, I don't have an answer to that question. <laughs> what could it be? I what, 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 it what would be? the chat say? What should we do to Rob's hair? We're going we're gonna to ink... We're going to ink Joe, and then we can do something to Rob's hair. I'll tell you what I want to do. I really want to pull this style off for a while. I want to I want to shave... No, shave down the middle. Reverse <laughs> half it. He yeah. flint it. Yeah. Oh, my God, Gabby's face. <laughs> yeah. You've know, really got like a... Do you remember when people used to get those cuts in their hair? When people, yeah. You know, people had short hair, and they'd do like shh, 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 two racing stripes. You could get a couple of them in. Go real fast. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have to buy like, hey, skip a few steps by shaving a bit into your head. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Such a good noise. <laughs> know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys, if we're suddenly getting like blue boxes going over any of our players. I'm not trying to cancel you out. This is not cancel culture. I am literally just trying to get things up. But sorry, carry on. Uh, yeah, so you gain five feet of speed if you do that, Rob. That's what the chat has uh, has deemed. That's what Stuart says. Excellent. Is, uh, five five feet to your speed. Excellent. That's like one step closer to the fridge. Definitely <laughs> <laughs> worth it. Oh, what about you, Gabs? How you been? Yeah, good, thanks. I've been playing Animal Crossing finally. Do you know what? I've been preparing for maybe 18 months to get Animal Crossing, but obviously haven't had the money for it. So I've been on loads of um, hybrid groups of like my favourite true crime podcasts the people who listen to them but also who love animal crossing so you know it's like the light and dark of life but um so i've been learning how to play it and like the best tips for when you first get it for ages so now i've got it i'm hyper aware of doing the wrong thing so I just keep getting scared to like cut like cut too many trees down or or like over overfish my uh like my streams of my island but it's amazing and i love it and i can play it on the big screen so well, you've just oh. had an invite to uh, to visit Cosmongrel at their oh. island. Yeah, because oh, I'm too yes. scared to make friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
drop your um uh, if you uh, drop your invites or drop your codes i don't know how it works but stick some stuff in the chat and we'll we'll copy it and we'll send it uh, we'll send it over to gabs both of the both of those um versions gabs you're like oh i didn't want to go and uh, chop down any tree too many trees or i didn't want to overfish my lakes both of those things i was thinking and find a dead body like, <laughs> oh, I've chopped down too many trees. I've found the dead body, or I'm f yeah. fishing too much and trawled up a body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there I any? Mean... Is there any way of crossover? Is it, have, have, have you guys sort of found ways to hack it to sort of like use the uh, use the true crime love? You can do actually like hybrids of designs of things. So like my favourite designer, yeah. Lazy Oaf. People create because I'm also in a Lazy Oaf Animal Crossing hybrid group. Because I'm, I'm just a nerd. There's only four things I like in life, and you can create hybrids for all of them. Um, but um, and you can make similar outfits. So maybe I could. Maybe it's a bit dark to create crime scene pictures and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm only, I'm only like four hours in, but you know, the world is open. The world is my oyster. So. If you would like to go to Gabby's Murder Island, please drop your codes into the chat now. Oh, Ten or best, that legitimately happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and uh, 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 Corinne's saying that uh, her, her friend made an amazing graveyard, Gabs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. New friends. New friends. <laughs> <laughs> Evie James, how you doing? I'm all right, thank you. I'm yeah. a bit tired. I'm a bit tired. I've been working a lot uh, and I'm confused because I'm not rich yet. So obviously I'm doing something wrong. And yeah, it's just a lot of work at the moment. I was so tired that yesterday when I got back from my walk, my housemates were playing Monopoly. And they were like, Joy, you have only just started. I know, and I really didn't want to play. Also, it was the it was the um the version called My Monopoly, where you're meant to like stick your own faces on the on the on the like on the properties on the little squares. None of us did that, obviously. But I literally just sat and watched so them play Monopoly, which sounds boring, but it was great. I was a voyeur. And yeah. I just who, who drank would sit a lot and watch other gin. people play games? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I love it. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, yeah, but that. Monopoly, that, though, is not exciting. That, that sounds on. horrific. Literally going around the yeah. board going, I'm going to buy you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're right. mine. You're mine now. And every it's time someone so steps weird. on you, you give me money. Mm. This is yeah. the face that you are indebted to, Evie. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> it's quite creepy. So we didn't do that. But then I did. And then I Googled because I was interested to know how many versions there are of Monopoly. Oh, my God. There's 1,144 different versions of Monopoly, Organized like branded hate. versions. Oh, I kind of like Monopoly. Is that bad? Yeah. I also really like Cluedo, and people say that's boring. Again, yeah. Oh. Cluedo's great. I like a bit of Cluedo. Yeah. I prefer Cluedo to Monopoly. Monopoly Monopoly's just like, who can be the biggest dickhead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what it is, and it really stresses me out. Uh, so, there was a there yeah. was a great podcast that talks about like how Monopoly is the worst game in the world, but that actually Monopoly <laughs> was um, originally like a socialist socialist game, mm -hmm. and you could like share out the problems of not being able to pay pay rent and help each other out. But now it's a capitalist game, and now it's what changes something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I literally saw one of my housemates transform into this like muddy mogul. He was in the corner fanning his money, going, "Go on, do you, do you want the deal or not?" And I was like, "I've never seen you be like this before." It brings out the worst in people. It was so dramatic. There were so many twists and turns, and I was there watching it till one a.m. Going, "I've got to get up in like five hours." Till one a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more and more drunk you loved well. it. You loved I it. I loved you watching underplayed it. that so much. I stayed up till one a.m. <laughs> yeah, all right. It was a hoot. Best yeah, night I've ever had. I guess also as like freelance creatives, there must be like an element of fantasy to it. Of like, what would it be like if I were a capitalist dickhead? If I actually had the money to have the option to be a capitalist dick? <laughs> yeah, imagine. Yeah. I know, right? I know. Exactly. Uh, well, great. So, um, well, it's such a, uh, it was such a great day. I wanted to ask, how are you, Joe? Hey. No. Oh. Maggie lives to fight another episode. Yeah, someone's going to get <laughs> Now, I'm really good. I had a lovely couple of days um, so chatting with friends. Uh, it was a wonderful um, friend difference, John, if you're in the chat or just lurking like you usually do. Jay Stay pop through because yeah, it was Jay Coop's yeah. birthday over the weekend and it was wonderful. So we played some Among Us, and which Dan 
somehow Mr. Berman managed to kind of get into the walls without being the murderer and just climb around, which was really weird. Everywhere. <laughs> hey, how did you manage to do that without being the murderer? No Literally. sleeves, no borders. That's what yeah. Dan always says. Yeah, I'm slippery. I'm, I'm intrigued. Slippery. Yeah. What I mean, hats crazy. did you all choose? We had different uh, hats every game. So, yeah, all uh, of the hats. All of the hats. I like the flamingo one. My, my favourite is the cheese. Just a piece <laughs> of cheese. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 such I, a great time. I quite liked the one that looks like the little Among Us avatar that goes on top, that's sort of like half ghost and also looks a little bit like you're wearing a condom on your head. <laughs> <It's just sad. laughs> but yeah, if you haven't played it, it is, it is a lot of fun. Um, mm. Especially if you can get them to a Zoom call as well, which is... Oh, there you go. According to the Neomancer, it was very glitchy at the weekend. That is why I was glitching all in and out of the walls and not just because I was the murderer. Cheating. Oh, oh murderer. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> nah, ah imposter imposter <laughs> that happens to kill people yeah yes on, on occasion yes but yeah it's um, like wear their skin no too far too, too far in it yeah because then you can be an imposter so you can be them yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's how you download the extra hats it, the hat can just be like another person's face is this genuine in the game nope. yeah no it is not <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure someone can mod it or patch it though Gabs yeah, would sure. absolutely love it though, because like when you get killed, or you are the imposter and you see the kill, the kills are brutal and it comes up with like a big red flash of like, and it's like you see them stab them or like, <laughs> chop <their> head. yeah. <laughs> Julius Caesar. So do you, do you reckon that at some point that we should maybe like jump on Twitch and play Among Us with like maybe the first five people that we send the code out to at the Facebook group or something yeah. like that? Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Do a little bit of that and do some stream of that. I think that's yeah, the fun. Yeah, yeah. That sounds great. That's a great idea. Yeah, everyone's like hundred percent. Yeah, great. <laughs> Please yeah, from everybody. Yeah. Really, really nice. So I think I've sorted out the screen. So I think we're okay. amazing. It'd be great if somebody could send us a follow just to test it, or uh, or a sub or a subscribe just to test it. Make sure it's all in the right places. Um, oh my my other screen's going really funny now. Oh sorry about this guys. There so go, I've got some news for you guys. Yeah, how, how are you, got, Dan? I've got something to. Oh, I'm I'm really well. I'm really good. Also very tired and very warm. So I might fall asleep halfway through this. I the reason I'm really warm is because this is about my fourth coffee in the last hour. Uh, filming schedule is doing my doing my body in, but uh, we're here and we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do have some news for all of you that I have not yet shared with any of you. So as of about an hour ago, some of you might have just seen this in the chat, but a little uh, podcast that we all recorded with Mark and Corin, aka the Neomancer and Cosmongrel went live on Spotify. So if you guys want to search Lost in the Maze, um, please uh, um, correct me, either of you guys, if you've uh, changed it over to Locked in the Maze. But if you want to search over for Lost in the Maze, hear us chat about more rats, about process, about immersive theatre, about all sorts that went live about an hour ago. And nice. thank you so much, Mark and Corin. It was so much yeah. fun. Yeah, so good. That was great. So I think I think Mark and Cos... Um, because Mongol, um, you should be able to 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 post a link actually because you're Vips. So there we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, nice. Good. So go check it out because it was so much fun to do, uh, and we were just we were we were very naughty and spoke over each other a lot. Charismatic, I'd say. <laughs> Poor Plus Cos, two. having to edit all that. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Cos. Yay. Well done, cars. Yeah. But also, apparently, Zoom did more damage than we did because whenever we were silent, it just assumed that we weren't speaking, so it just shunted all of it down. So it took everything out of sync. So she had to literally like pull no. it all oh. apart. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Cos. Cos. I was muting all the time oh, yeah. with my laptop. Oh, oh that's, a, that's was... a good point. Actually, we were swearing like they had a break, and we decided to completely screw it by just like shouting swear You're words. Gonna... Fuck you, Joe. <laughs> Oh yeah. To each other. <laughs> oh, then we all deliberately talked over each other at the end, didn't we? Oh we did. yeah. <laughs> so sorry, and, but all said really nice things about them. What so they hellscape. Like, extrapolate it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hellscape of uh. Yeah, just... Wow. But then, but then, imagine if that was then all out of sync, and it would just sort of come in at random moments because you're. It's all kind of, everyone's got a different <laughs> length. Oh, we really love you. <laughs> <laughs> like a mosquito of love. Having a good time. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So I think we're kind of like just cracking on with stuff. Oh, it was just like so much that we did on that, that podcast. It was so yeah, much fun. Yeah, I want to listen to it. I've, I haven't listened to it myself yet, and I'm excited to, uh, uh, to, to look. It seems like so long ago that we did it, and I, it's, it's, I did the one before that, and it is so much different to then listen to it back, you know, mm. after rather than like being it and go, yeah. It's, everyone's like, oh, God, what did I say? I'm going to be on it straight away yeah, after I this. I said. I can't remember either. No, mm -hmm. me neither. Anyway, have we missed anyone about saying how they are? Is everybody okay? Thumbs up. Good. Uh, we've all been through. <laughs> yeah. um, I would like to say, just if you're just about to throw it over to Rob, um, guys, we have got a new target. You can see at the top of the screen now that Joe, now that Joe has done, I think it's over there. No, it's over there. Now yep. that Joe has done uh, done his magic, um, we have got a new uh, sub target of 65. And if we reach that target, you are going to hear those Oshi kills in such incredible studio quality because if we hit 65 subs for a month we are going to get gabrielle mcpherson a microphone oh yes you're yes. gonna get sexy or she kills mm. yeah. actually <laughs> saying that it might be worth us giving a bit quick update of the other rest of the stuff that's been happening so everything that you guys have, have been giving us so far meant that we could have our first sneaky peek at the new illustrations that have been drawn for us um we've managed to get one back so far um which we're slowly kind of collecting together a baggie and they are absolutely incredible i cannot cannot wait to share them on the stream um sort of wonderful work and so, so as soon as we get them through we're going to do some big big launch of them because they're absolutely stunning but that's because if you guys have been supporting us and being able to just to pay this artist to do so such an amazing work um yeah. so thank you so much for that yeah, guys, you're the best. Thank you to the community. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. Thank you. Yeah, but yes, I'm, I'm, but I think there's, yeah, so the usual kind of stuff. Um, so I think, Dan, is there anything else you want to, want to have a chat about? I am all good. Thank you, Joe. I'm, uh, no, I've uh, said everything that I wanted to say. Great. All right, so if we go to what happened last week, we might go over to the other screen so that we can see some pictures of stuff because I've got to show you pictures. So that's quite nice. Um, but well, I think Rob... Also, hot 20 minutes, can I just say? We just got through all of that in 20 minutes. Ooh, you know what? That is, that is fucking brilliant. Professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to the other one, the other screen. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I've just been doing, which is sorting it out because there's going to be elements I need to add in. So Rob, you crack on. My love. Okay. And, and you talk about what, what happened. All right. Last week, the Yawning Portal is a place for relaxation, of revelry, and many a pint drank. It is a place where friends meet and exchange kind words for each other. It is also a place with a giant hole in the ground that adventurers sometimes delve into to fight monsters. Some of them also break out from the hole and start fights in the pub. This is where our episode started last week, as a giant Nurgalid uh, toad creature escaped from the hole and started causing havoc uh, in the pub. Luckily, Dernan, the bartender, was there to uh, to throw some swords down and start attacking, along with Oshi, Pops, and Baggy. Big Fats sat and finished his drink, as this was not his fight to get involved in. When the fight was over, uh, a small man named Volo um approached the group and asked for their help in finding his missing friend bloon uh, floon blagmar um a lot of back and forth then uh, happened um the group have been hurt uh, that lionel richie song was about the mall rats um and eventually after accepting uh the quest um the group headed back to black star lane to enjoy the celebration of tunk's funeral and the others uh, that had died in the battle for black star lane um where the gang went back to madam price's house that was burnt down and found some trinkets pups found his harper badge oshi found a burnt a burnt poster um that had the words our agents need to help these people keep safe and then some of it was burnt away, and then the goblin was on there as well. Uh, we then ventured towards the Skewer Dragon pub. Uh, if you had watched previous episodes, you would know that was where Baxter Backelright was playing uh, his biggest gig of the year. Um, however, as the group uh, ventured towards there, they encountered an arrest happening. 
as several bodies lay bloodied and dismembered uh, on the floor. Those, bloodies, those bodies had belonged to the Zentharum, one of the criminal guilds of Waterdeep, and they were slain by another, none other... Sorry, those are the Z Xanathar's bodies, and the Zentharum, uh, a rival criminal organization, had slain them in the street and they were now being arrested. Uh, upon getting into the Skewer Dragon, we discovered what had ha in the aftermath of Baxter Backelwright's gig and the blood that was being mopped up on the floor. And as we approached the barmaid to speak to her, a drunken Oshie said, What the fuck has happened here? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we left off. Really, really nice. Very, very fast. So I'm just going to go through like, some of the <laughs> some of the creatures and characters that we kind of saw. Um, so, yeah, Dernan, the bartender. I think you guys Dernan. should start now. Such a crush on Dernan. Dernan. Oh, mate, tell me about it. He's so beautiful. Um, I've just had to reload the chat. So if you are here, do say hi in the chat. Um, then uh, we had Volo as well. There's Volo Trump. Volo Trump, the QAnon's favourite man. Um, <laughs> there he is there. Uh, and then we also had Yagra. So this is Yagra, everybody. Uh, this is the person who was being beaten up. Um, mm. oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Players, tell me what you notice before I make it disappear. Um, oh, in the stream, actually, in the chat, tell us what you notice. Ooh, yeah. they're, right. they're, they're an orc. Very well done. Well done. That's that's what, great. On the necklace. <laughs> red necklace. So. A red necklace. Great. Good. Good. You guys are on it. So um, then we got attacked by the Nurgled, wasn't it? We did. Yeah. So I got a picture of the Nurgled, actually, which I thought I'd quickly show you guys. Uh, there we go. There it is. Ugh. Oh, nasty. Yeah. Really, Disgusting. really nasty. This little thing, isn't it? Mm. And look so happy about it as well. I know. Like, I'm <laughs> gross. <laughs> really, really lovely. So there we are. So that was everything that kind of happened last week. Was there anything that was missed that you guys want to talk about quickly? Um, I don't think there's so. You went. You talk about funerals. Mm -hmm. Talk about houses. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Great. Okay. So. um I'm just hoping that everything's working. So I'm I'm not going to be able to put up any of our our lovely bars on this particular page because everything decided to that it wanted to be reset, which is why nothing has happened properly. So my deepest apologies there. However, we do need to get started uh, on this particular adventure. Um, so as usual, we're going to run our wonderful uh, montages montage eye. Um, as we kind of introduce this this new uh, new show, okay. All right. We see what looks like cracked right angles, deep and tall walls. As we kind of go down the crevice, down to what looks like soil. As we go into the soil, we see a small seed. As the seed begins to grow, its roots going downwards and the green coming up, and it kind of cuts through the soil under the crevasse and kind of climbs its way up. Uh, as it creeps forward, I want to say thank you to whoever that was. I have no idea what it was. Take thank a guess. Uh, as it creeps up, um, we see <laughs> there's another one. Wow, okay. I'm just going to just stop for a second because there was a lot going on there. Okay. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> he said sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> oh God, it's still going. Um, as the seed kind of starts kind of climbing up and the green sort of climbs upwards as we see the stem grow inside this deep crevasse as it kind of grows up towards the light the flowers begin to open up as it comes through and we see it's actually on a street and a great robotic foot comes down and crushes onto the flower that was just been created <laughs> as we see um three um large um we see this kind of the four of you kind of stood in front of the skewered dragon. 
Just hoping everything's playing. Yes. Uh, stood in front of the skewer dragon. The sun is shining in the air. As you can see, those patrons sitting out in the um, out in front of the the bar itself. The flies are counting out around you as you see them all coalescing around the bar itself. Cut to. The camera creeps round a dark corner, and then. In a flash, you just see a flurry of movement and a large impact shot as a goblin smacks against the wall. Beaten, bloodied, eyes nearly swollen. They take a few more hits um, as they suddenly go down, kick to the stomach, stamp to the back. So eventually the four drunkards that are attacking them leave them possibly for dead. They get up, cough up, <clears throat> and there's a diamond in their hand. They smile, scale the wall, and retreat. Cut to. A close-up of an elven hand working delicately with a small screwdriver. The camera pans out to see that the hand is working on a large metal structure. It pans upwards towards the lifeless face of Big Fats as the hand places a large cigar between his teeth. Camera zooms in on the cigar to show the words Fat Lady written in gold ink. Cut two. A low lit room hums with low voices and lust. The camera pulls closely to a human hand travelling up the thigh of another. Clothes of a dress are pulled out of the way aggressively to make more room for skin on skin. A dagger suddenly points into the back of the hand, gently piercing and blood drips out. The hand unable to move flinches. We pan out to see a scaled face and yellow eyes flashing, lightly hidden in the low-lit room. Cut to. The camera zooms down a long corridor, and either side of the corridor you see these massive books, and we realise we're in a library deep in the heart of Waterdeep. And in the very back corner, the camera pans round, and you see a sort of hooded figure in complete darkness, looking desperately through a humongous book, from behind, you hear a booming voice go, Oi! What are you doing? And you see, in a flurry, the hooded figure runs further down the corridor and out of the back path, leaving the books behind. <laughs> Cut to. You see a figure sat in a chair, its strawberry blonde hair across its face, as a, a punch comes in and cracks into their jaw. As he just says, where is it? And he just punches into another one. And suddenly a massive crash comes from downstairs as hundreds of people start running into the building itself. The camera falls down a drain and goes further and further down until we're in front of an ancient door as we float through like ghosts to see a scene of hundreds and thousands of dragons. Great. So we are now <laughs> in, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm really, really enjoying this one. So the guys, you guys got left um, in this bloody scene um, of somebody trying to mop up um, what could only be described as a um, as a blood as yeah, exactly so hundreds and thousands of dragons. Sorry, I stole <laughs> that from a, from another game which I've been playing with Stuart. So thank you for that. Um, as we see this this bloodbath completely around us. Um, and this woman, this this uh, female half orc is with a mop, and she just turns around and goes, "Baxter, back all right." That's what I'm telling you. Baxter, back all right is what happened. Well, I've never heard of him. Uh, what did he do around here? <laughs> he sung. Apparently, that's that's apparently what he did. He sung, and his fans went. Uh, it could only be called as haywire. It caused. Then he got kind of gestures around this. Well, I've heard of voices breaking glasses before, but never breaking skulls. Must be quite the singer. I mean, I came in. I finished my shift yesterday. Before the gig, I come in this morning, and this is what I come to. Even some of my, like, more disgusting, smelly, and it's like this guy who's like, Oi! Loved locals. <laughs> Had to be sat outside because even they won't just like take this disgusting mess. Anyway, what yeah. is it you want? Well, we're not visiting the smell, that's for sure. Um, 
We're looking for some feller named Floon Blagmar. He was supposedly last seen around here and wondering if you got any leads. When? Last night? And Big Fats looks towards the group. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, you better have a look in there then. It sort of points over to a corner and it's just a pile of like ripped up body parts that are just sort of festering in the corner. You sure well, that we're here last night? That's what we were told. I'm going to need another drink for that. <laughs> All right. And she kind of walks over to the bar, gets behind it, and sort of like puts her hands on. As she puts her hands on, it's like sticks as the blood. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she sort of wipes it on herself. What is it you want? Four whiskeys, I think. She sort of, I forgot how she's still shit face. <laughs> she sort of lines up these glasses. You can see the fingerprints of blood that's still on the glasses, and she just pours out the whiskey across the table. And then she just let it spill out everywhere. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. And she pours one for herself. As well. I'll have one as well, I suppose. Cheers. Are, you, are any of you not having them, or are they all for me? I thought they were all for you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I am partial to a drink. It is uh, past midday and everything. Hmm. Five well, o'clock somewhere. What... What do your mates look like, anyway, that you're looking for? Are they friends of yours? Yeah. Yeah, friends of ours. Strawberry oh. blonde hair. Ah. And the uh, unicorn necklace. We, uh, we, all bought, we all bought them as a gift. Ah. Friendship necklaces. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. I see you here to pay a tab, then. Hell no. Well, one of them left. We all know which one it was that left. That Volo come in here drunk as much as he possibly could and then left without paying his bill. So I'm guessing it must be something to do with you guys. You gonna pay the bill? How much is the bill? So, puts her hand under and it's just she like she picks up a piece and it's like drenched in blood and she's like and just throws it on the floor and just goes sixteen gold pieces. I'll tell you what. I'll have me a cigar. That will improve the smell of the overall building, and the customers will come flooding back. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, the one you're talking about, he stayed on for a bit longer. Pompous prick. So you especially, do know him? Especially with his other friend. Like twins they were. His other friend? Yes. His other friend. Turned up like, oh, 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 look at this, how rough it is. It's just like, this is my bar. I put my love and my heart and soul into this place. Yeah, I, I hate that guy. <laughs> and he was just like thinking that he could slum it down with the regular people. Disgusting. <sighs> but either way, they, they, I finished my shift before they finished drinking. Apart from Volo, of course. Fucking dickhead. Well, I'll tell you what. When we next see Volo, I'm going to tell him that he needs to pay his tab. But right now, we're a little bit busy, you see? Hmm. Right. I suppose these are not going to be paid for either, then. I'll oh. pay for them. Oh. And it's like, she pipes up very much like, oh. she puts her hand out to you, Oshie. She? she goes, Briar. Oshie. Oh, hmm. Nice to meet you. She doesn't shake her hand though because she sees it's covered in blood. Like she puts her hand out and then thinks about it. Like we think. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> well, big fat's one of these are for you. Baggy pups you in or you out? Yeah, she, why not? Thank you very over, much. Troll tide, over, isn't it? She looks over at you, Baggy. Everybody else, what you hear is like what sounds more like a grunt. Uh, and what she actually says is, to Baggy is, um, you all right, sister? Yeah, we're just uh, worried about Bloon. I apologise for their behaviour last night. Mm. They're, uh, 
Are you really friends of Volo? I can't imagine that you are. You would be correct. No. All right. So is it just Floon you're looking for? It's just Floon. Did they say anything about where they were going afterwards or anything they might have mentioned? And she kind of like puts like an empty cup on the table, so it taps it. Probably remember some other details. <sighs> Baggy uh, reaches into her pocket and pulls out one silver piece and places it in the cup. Uh, she says to you, uh, after Volo left, Bloon continued drinking. And someone I would say is probably looks the same as them. News uh, Lord. Lord never remember. Renier. But uh as I say I finished my shift shift before that, but I thought that might be useful to you, sister. Wow. Thank you. So, uh, right. I need to carry on cleaning. And she says that in common. Right. Well, are we, are we getting elbows deep in these bodies then? Or. No. Yeah. No. Unless, unless you fancy it. I mean, it might Apparently, have our. Hmm? Go on. Apparently, our mate. Bloon was chatting with a lord last night. Lord Neverember. Mm. Mm. And I'm wondering if Baggy has heard of this person. Maybe yeah, do a sure. history check at least. Yeah, do a history check with advantage because it's fairly it's a fairly well known name. Great. Poifect. Here we go. I've got all my things open. First roll of the day. Oh, 24. 24. Yeah. Great. All right. So, um, you know that Renia is a Renia, Ren, Rena, Renia. I'm going to just quickly check my, uh, because they, they, luckily they've given me like a an, an, an pronunciation <laughs> list on this, on roll 20, which is great because a lot of the times I can't figure out what the hell the, what her name's supposed to be said as. Right. So give me a second. <laughs> I think his name is Ren, 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 Renia, Renia, Renia. Renya. Renya, ra, ra, ra. Um, <laughs> welcome to the uh, I've welcome down to stream. all of those. <laughs> welcome to the stream, guys. If you've not been here before, we're really good at here. We know what we're doing. So, uh, Isn't that just the intro to Bad Roman Romance by Lady Gaga, what you just ra, said? Renya, 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 So it's Raynar. Raynar. That's a stupid joke. So you know uh, Raynar Never Remember is the son of the last open lord of Waterdeep. So in Waterdeep, you you also know that um, you have the Mask Lord and then you have the Open Lord. So the Open Lord is the single figure that is known to be in power at the time. Um, you also know that there is uh, not particularly, that, he, that he's now currently at uh, Neverwinter. You know that much. Um, but you definitely know the name for sure. Okay. So, Bloom likes to hang out with some uh, fancy higher uppers, it seems. Figures. Well, I'm, sure that, just... I'm sure my patrons outside were probably here up until the music started, because a lot of them hate the music. Maybe we should speak to them then. But um... If they hate the music, why the fuck do they drink in here? And she looks over at you. Go on, get out. Go on. Um, um, I'm guessing we've already downed our drinks. <laughs> Briar, have the, have the guards been in here yet? Have they just left you to tidy this up? The guards never come here. Right. But you're right. I've been trying to clean this up as quickly as possible because I don't want to get in any trouble. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. something I haven't done. Just trying to run a bar in the middle of the dock ward in the shittest city in the whole of the Salt Coast. 
Well, the good news is that you can keep all those limbs and legs here for troll ties. True. I was going to make pies, but yeah. yeah. Um, do you mind if we we have a look, have a look through those? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Crack on. Yeah. I mean, not um, you, um, not you though. She points me? over. She points at Oshi. Not you. The rest of you guys can. She thinks she thinks that's an insult. She thinks that's like, <laughs> you know, you're not allowed to have a look at the treasure. You know, it's actually like, you're not allowed to go put your arms deep in filth. <laughs> oh, this is just like when Pups was a kid. Wow. I, I think he sort of brings the, the other two over and and just, uh, yeah, just says to them quietly, hopefully so that Briar won't hear, is that, um, this is what... Uh, me and my brothers and sisters used to do um if there was a recently raided party and the the guards hadn't been then who knows what you're going to find there could be treasure there could be gold there could be anything it's, so we used to be the cleanup team i'll show you uh, come on i'm surprised you're not riddled with disease then digging <laughs> through the dead i am not surprised at all how do you know i'm not come on <laughs> well you got sleeves, roll them up. <laughs> so what what I'm thinking is that you guys go to the body and then Oshi, you go outside? Yeah. To go talk to the fag. Batons. Yeah, yeah. Smoke a fag. All right, cool. Um, so you guys go over to the bodies and there's just this pile. <laughs> Get out of my pub! Um, you just got like a big pile of bodies, um, body parts, and you're kind of looking down at them. Uh and it's sort of like the blood is sort of like sleeping down onto the floor, it's flies buzzing around all over it. Uh, <laughs> you see, I think can I think pups you see, I'm just gonna do this because of your passive. Um mm -hmm. you see that one of the hands is hot is has got a, an emblem on it. Uh and it's an emblem that you remember from can I get a history check, please? Yes. Uh, what is that? I can't see it. Ten. 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 You, you've seen it before, but you can't fig put your finger on it. Can I? I've got some uh, advantage rolls. Can I do that again? Yeah, sure. Amazing. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, cool. You remember this symbol being around the table when you were eight years old, uh, when you were a part of the ritual, and you see the same symbol on someone on a hand's ring. What does it look like? Um, you tell me what a symbol of Asmodeus looks like. Um, what do you reckon it looks like? So I'm guessing like almost like three chevrons in a triangle shape. Yeah, that sounds great to me. <laughs> so they're like a um, pentagram, a pentagram, but like with a few extra bits on it. So kind of like. I'm getting a live drawing. Oh, so. Uh, oh that yeah yeah we'll take that yep um and you see like yeah some of the some of the hands are still gripping onto uh bits of shirt and newspapers <laughs> and like like they've gripped on until the end um yeah it's pretty horrific pretty horrific sight um i think baggy you also look up and you see a poster of um baxter and like a big heart has been drawn in it with in blood around his around oh, his face <laughs> it's what a gig what a gig that was that's a great time <laughs> just, just staring at that like looking at his face going mm -hmm. i don't get it <laughs> You also um, you also see what looks like um, like a flap of some sort with buttons on it that is this is grey. Um, it looks almost like dog fur, um, but it's like a flap that has like a couple of buttons on the top of it. It, it, it out of all of the mess that's here, that square looks worse than anything else that's in the room. Uh, like it's not only got blood, but it's probably got some shit in it as well. What is it? <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to pick up the the flat button thing. Okay, <laughs> let's do. Let's do. Let's do a, an a investigation. <laughs> yeah, let's do an investigation for me. <laughs> oh please. Nineteen. 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 Um, you think this probably made part of a larger suit? 
uh, possibly one of an animal that looks like an animal at least. A onesie. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> How? Do, I, I mean, <laughs> it's definitely covered in shit. Then it's definitely covered <laughs> in shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you. Yeah. You start like going through the body parts. I think big fats, your arm just goes straight in to sort of ruffle around, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get the prawn cocktail at the bottom of the bag of walkers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm imagine how big is this pile? Um, it's easily uh, it's above you. Like it's easily like four foot, maybe five foot high. Okay. Imagine like the shit's pile in Jurassic Park. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's that that sort of size. It's huge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use you as a spade, pups. I mean, I I think pups. I think pups is ready to just Scrooge McDuck in. Oh, oh my god! Okay, <laughs> you gonna jump in? Yeah. All right, gonna get a con saving throw, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think you turn to say that to pups, and you just he just sort of blurs past you in a run up. Disgusting. <laughs> 13. Thirteen. All right, you come out and you're just like, what? And you just like throw up as you kind of come <laughs> out, come out for air. Um, but I'm going to ask for an investigation check okay. with disadvantage in there because you're rumbling around and you're feeling really ill. Okay. Oh, I'm going to re-roll that. I've got so many of these things. Thank you guys for all of your love and help and support through us. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, I think I think the only thing that you find um is uh like a small baggie that is full of glitter. Oh, that's the only thing that you find. Um however, the sort of when you've kind of come out these like heads come out of, of the pile and the rest of you see that you think most of them have got different coloured hair. Then none of them look like the right type of colour hair that that you're looking for. Would you say this is strawberry blonde or ginger? <laughs> it's essentially just like coated in blood. <laughs> Fucking Auburn. Well, he looks a lot better with his head off his body, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and then Pops throws up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an orb. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone in this chat is saying, is it Booker Sugar? Um, no, it's not Booker Sugar. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. So you guys can continue rifling through the bodies. And I'm saying, like, pups, you are head to toe covered in blood. Like, I want to make that clear. You are head to toe covered in blood. You are red right now. Mm -hmm. um, big fact, you've kind of got one red arm. And I think, Backy, you've just been back. Just writing up stuff. Yeah. Uh, Taking see, notes. Exactly. As we see um um Y oh she kind of steps out into the sunshine and she just sort of gets out a cigarette, so taps it, drops it, and picks it back up again. <laughs> taps it and drops it, picks it back up again. It pops it in her mouth and sort of looks around and can't find her lighter. And you see that there's like three or four tables of what can only be described as pirates and smugglers and downright ruffians um, sort of drinking and they're playing set games, they're, they're gambling. But they all look like that proper local. They're a local lot. And uh, she gets, she walks over to them, try, really trying now to like. You know when you sit on the low at like a party and you're really trying to get your head together even though it's spinning? Like she's really having a chat with herself as she walks over, like walking a straight line, walking a straight line. And she says, uh, friends, does anybody have a light? And most of them are like... They sort of grumble to themselves. Um, but you see one one guy um, is a dwarf. And he sort of sat on a table. And he's like, yeah, I've got a light. Is there, is, is there any empty chairs near him? Yeah, it's literally him and an empty oh. chair. Um, <laughs> she goes and sits down next to him. Mm. He kind of gets a box of matches out. Uh, 
I knew a dwarf once. <sighs> yeah. Mm. I bet you're going to ask if I knew him. No, I don't care. Good. What are you doing here? It doesn't look like I'm doing. Getting drunk at whatever time of the day it is. It's a shithole, though. Mm. Yeah, it's my shithole, though, isn't it? Mm. You play cards? Yes. Yeah? Definitely. Alright. Hm. He kind of like pulls a deck out, sort of shuffles him. Um, and essentially what we're going to do here is a... We're going to do a charisma check first. Mm-hmm. And then we'll play it from there. So essentially, the charisma check is for your poker face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we no, go. I think I think that like you are. We said before that you were taking disadvantage on um, dexterity. Yeah. So this is this is charisma. So this is different. Yeah. Right. Um. So he kind of like he deals you a couple of cards. Is it um a saving throw or a straight charisma? Let's do... Uh... Or performance? Is that Christmas? Yeah, super performance. Ten. And he rolls. Okay, cool. <laughs> and he looks over at you. And you can't read him at all. Cannot read him at all. What's going on? Um. So he's going to try and read read you now with an with a insight check. So if you want to try and insight it, we now have our targets, mm -hmm. which is 10 and 17. So let's uh, try and see what happens. So he's trying to be at 10, you're trying to be at 17. Mm -hmm. With an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> That's so a creepy. A <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> so he kind of looks, you look at both of you and he goes, well, I know what you got. And I don't know what you've got. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck it. And he puts two gold down. Uh, <laughs> oh, she, uh, um, wow, let's see how much gold she's actually got. Yeah, all right, she puts two down. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I like you. What's your name? Oh, she, yours? Hmm. My name's Tack. Tack. Right. By the way, Tack. I'm a bit pissed, so don't tell anybody my name's Oshi. I don't normally tell people that. <laughs> he leans forward because it's all right. I'm on the book of sugar, so don't worry about it. Oh, nice. Okay. And he goes, do you want another card? Yes. So he lays out a card for you. He takes a card for himself. Uh, and you look at the card. Um, and the card um, will help you. Uh, you think in this hand mm -hmm. so he looks over at you and he tries to read you so um let's do our performance checks first because we've set that up 19 Ooh. oh an 18 from him <laughs> okay <laughs> so as he looks over at you and it's again it's both of your faces are straight as he tries to read you okay so let's do an inside check 11. This is now going on pure performance. As he looks across, because I raise you one, he puts a gold coin in it. Um, or she puts. She like gets her more gold out of her bag and kind of fumbles one onto the table. Although she, we know that she's trying to, we know she's trying to hold herself kind of straighter than that. And it's just two then, and slides them forward. And as she slides her forward, her body momentum goes backwards. So she seems kind of drunk, or a lot drunk. Is that all right? I'll raise you number two. Uh, so now we've got two, two three, four, four on his side and three on your side. Is that right? Yeah, four and three, seven on the table. Um, so she, so how many does she need to put in? Two more. Mm -hmm. Four and three. Okay, yeah, she puts. I oh, know she can put uh, one more in to call it, or you could put, you could push through. Oh yeah, she'll, 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 
She'll just call it. You just call it. Control it. But you could drive it. You could drive it for the intimidation if you wanted to. Yeah, just I just don't want him not to. I don't want him to fold. Come on in. Got four coins on that table. Two. Stab him. Stab him. Stab him in the neck. Um. So she she matches him. She she yeah. She calls it. Nice. Okay. Uh, chat a number between one and twenty, please. Get those d20s out. Just give me a number between one and twenty. One and twenty. Give me a number. Seventeen. Okay. Um. So can you do a wisdom for me? Um. Mm -hmm. Let's think. Yeah, let's just do let's do a, a wisdom save. Why not? Um, and it needs to beat seventeen. Oh, flipping neck. Ooh. Oh, I should have Ooh. done it with advantage. You've, you've got. You've got advantage. <laughs> got rerolls. Do you want to use it? Do you want to use it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll use one of my advantage. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> eleven. Eleven. Okay. Cool. So you got to turn your cards over, and it's clear that he's he's the winner. And he kind of puts his hands over and clears it. And it's like, I really enjoyed that. Me too. Where did you learn to play? <laughs> Here in there. Huh? Yeah, I, was, I played, used to play in some of the, up in, the down in Baldur's Gate. I mm. played a bit in Chult as well. I've seen a few of your kind. Oh. Uh, I did, oh. played a little bit up in the Sea Ward. That was interesting. Yeah, Fame. I bet. Yeah, it ruined me. Fucking cheaters. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, once, I once played a game in, um, in Black Star, but the casino got raided at the same time, so didn't win much that day. Oh. Casino got raided? Yeah. Yeah, it was a shame. I was playing with this old lady, this goblin with a bunch of his glasses on, he wouldn't say very much, and an old half orc. Did look like mm. she played very much, but she cleared us out, and then we got raided. Oh, and so all the money was what? What happened to it? Mm. No idea. But now I drink here, pretty much every day. <laughs> well, yeah, yesterday I've gone in there, and it's a mess. <laughs> it's an absolute state in it. <laughs> 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 Pro Briar, she's there cleaning it up, and it's it is pretty rank. I mean, I like a rank bar, but that is that is something else, something completely. But yeah, I was here yesterday. And what happened last night? Well, they say it was Baxter. <laughs> but I don't I've know never even I, heard of him. I know, right? I mean, I've seen a couple of posters. Very beautiful person, but rumor on the street is there's a small cult that follows him. Ooh. Wow. It must be good then. Yeah. They like it really. Like my mm. sea shanties really. Yeah. And uh I don't suppose you saw apparently there was a couple of poshos in here. Oh yeah. 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 yeah the two the two, I suppose they called them the blonde haired, beautiful. They look like a tw pair of twins really. Mm. Twins, that's weird. Yeah, and drunk themselves silly. Oh, really? And then what? They just left? Yeah, they left way before the gig started. So, uh, oh. yeah, they went off uh, and he kind of points up the road. Uh, he points towards... Let me just bring up the map for you guys. Uh, where's the map? There it is. Um, and he kind of points up the road towards this spot here. Up Ship, sheet, up ship Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they probably went up towards that way towards the uh, the old Zogglob shop. Hey, the old Zogglob shop. Oh right, yeah, of course. Uh, and what 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 do you think they were doing in here? <laughs> Roughing it. <laughs> Cheap drinks, easy frills. Hmm. Bastards. Yeah. Anyway, how much was it you just took off me there? Why, <laughs> right, do you want to play again? Well, I was thinking, 
Double or quits, but on heads or tails. And then you just sort of, the, the doors sort of open up. And he's like, yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> 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 and he kind of puts down, he puts down, what was it, uh, the nine gold that he took took from you. He says 18 gold, or nine gold, it's 18 gold to play for. Um, yeah. He's like, yeah, right. Heads. <laughs> and, um, the door's just opened, right? Yeah. Um, and does Oshie know that it's the, the team, the crew? I don't know. Let's do a perception check, see if you can figure out it's them. 20. Yep, it's them. It's them. Okay. <clears throat> so the 19's on the table. Is it in a bag nine, or is it? Uh, no, it would be 18's on, the, 18's on the table. 18. And is it in a bag or in little piles or just chucked across? Yeah. He just put it in the middle. He really likes you. He thinks you're you're a good person. You're like he thinks you're dodgy as hell, but he, he likes you. Um. Okay. Fuck it. She's gonna try and steal it all off the table as much as she can get, <laughs> and then run. Okay. Towards shit street. Ready? <laughs> oh, she's pissed. Ready? Okay. It's a dis. <laughs> and then re -roll she, it, she re -roll goes. It, re -roll, re roll it. You got so many bombs. <laughs> but it's with with disadvantage. So I'll take no. the 11. I'll take no. the 11. Not a straight no. roll. So you go and your arm comes in to grab it and he grabs hold of your arm. And he kind of pulls you closer. He's like, now, now. I thought we were mates. Flip of a coin. 50-50 chance. However, if you lose, I'm looking for my other nine. And he puts your hand down. Good on him. Have any of us seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen his arm come over and grab. But you've also you also saw Oshie go for the money as well. Everybody <laughs> saw it. It was an 11. Yep. <laughs> she fell over the table. <laughs> um, Perhaps is just going to stand by the table, towering over the two of them, smoking a big cigar and blowing it directly downwards onto the table. You right, big man? Howdy. Hmm. Mate, yours. Yeah. Cut. Well, yes, he is. My friend. Your mate just tried to steal all that gold off the table. And... There's one side of the story. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm a gambler. I'm a thief. I'm a <sighs> professional. You don't do that shit. You know what I mean? Well, give her a chance to win her money back and let's see what happens. Yeah, of course. Actually... Do you want to do the flick? And he kind of hands one of the gold pieces up to, uh, to you. Do you want to do the flick? Uh, Big Fats looks to Oshie. I'm on tails. Sure. So one is tails, two is heads. All right. So let's roll yeah, a can, D, can, D2. Oh, what do you want can to do? Oshi, can Oshie check that it's not like a double-headed gold piece or anything? I think the, the coin's gone up. So I don't think I think you can try. Let's do a perception check and see if you can figure it out. Perception. Eight now. Yeah, you think it's a dodgy coin. Um, okay, and has he still got hold of her hand? No, he's let go of it now. Okay. Um she says, wait, big fats. What does that coin look like? Double headed? Oh my god, you don't even trust me on that. Looks like a gold coin to me. As he flips it, you see the two heads, the two sides, the head and the tails. Okay. Um, how do I roll a D2? So if you just type in... Actually, do you want me to type it in? I'll roll I'll it. Just... So if you type slash R space 1D2, then you should better roll it. Do you want me to roll it? Skadoosh. So one is, one is tails, two is heads. As he takes the gold off the table and is like, can I take that nine, please? Um, <laughs> oh, she gives him nine. <laughs> he goes, takes it back. It's like, throws his card over at you. If you ever need a, I don't know, someone like me, get a shout. 
Um, and Ashley says, well, I'll definitely be coming back for the fucking nine gold you just got off me. <laughs> he kind of puts his hand out and go like, as you do that, he kind of grabs hold of your hand and sort of shakes it. And it's just like, I like you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And um, there's a moment of like his hands are so big compared to hers, it like reminds her of tongue, and she just she kind of like with her other hand like doesn't like because she's a bit pissed. She like puts it round his neck and just squeezes it, and then walks like walks away and just like dismisses almost as dismissive of it. Oh my god! <laughs> and he's like, kind of... right. <laughs> who's this pissed woman? <laughs> you right, big man. Yeah, just a little a bit of advice for you. Um, I would suggest not taking advantage of the inebriated. Could get you into trouble. And pats him hard on the back. And then he looks up at him and goes like, you see where you are, mate? I'm fully aware of where I am. Every single one of us is fucking oppressed, inebriated, or screwed over in some way. Everyone's taking advantage of somebody else, including you. you taking advantage of me. So, um, what's the word? Oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. But get off my table. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I don't want both my arms covered in blood today. Otherwise, this conversation would head a different direction. You have a nice day there, sir. <laughs> you too, mate. <laughs> but you can also, as you walk away, you see that there's everybody else around, all the other four other tables. They've all got their blades like slightly out at that situation. They're all just like, fucking, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> I just wanna fucking kick off so <laughs> <laughs> As you as you collect together, um <laughs> you collect together uh outside of the pub and um you've all kind of got bits and pieces to kind of share with each other. Uh, and say what's going on. We've got to go down Ship Street. Ship Street? Is that what cost you nine gold? And I think I need a coffee. <laughs> right. And as you say that, this like cart comes round the corner and skids along the side as it kind of goes round the corner and this box falls off and lands down and rolls in front of you. As it lands in front of you, kunk, 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 you see steamed on front of the top of it is uh, this witch, twitchy witch, written on the top of it and a big bomb symbol <laughs> um, as it sort of rolls in front of you. As you kind of look around and the cart cracks on, doesn't even know that the box has, has fallen off the back of it. Better go pick that up, I suppose. Yeah. Like, want to give me a hand? Yeah, I'd suggest that the goblin covered in blood maybe doesn't go investigating uh, <laughs> small boxes that fall <laughs> off trucks, but uh, I'm happy to do it. There's actually a bunch of flies that are starting to like circulate above above pups now. <laughs> I've, I've imagined that like Pups is like trying to heed Big Fats's warning, has like tried to cover himself, uh, like but has literally just done like the bit around his eyes and his cheekbones, is convinced he's clean. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh. fingertips are clean, face yeah, is clean. Like, I've done yeah. here, I've done here, I've done here. Like, what do you want? <laughs> and you see this kind of crate on the floor, and I think Big Fats, you just put your hands on top, just crush the top. <laughs> I'm not going to ask for a roll or anything. It's been damaged on the way down towards Sick. you guys. So inside, um, you see a number of different things. Um, first thing you see is there's four bottles in there of a red coloured liquid. Uh, as you find four uh, potions of healing. You, um, Big Fats, you put your hand in and you pull out what looks like a rod with two horses on each end of it. Um, you also see that there's a piece of fabric in there. And that fabric looks as if it's got clouds like culminating around it and then it coalesces and then turns into fire and then turns into birds. And it's sort of like, the, the fabric seems to continually change what it, what it looks like. Uh, and you also see um, two, what looks like mundane stones that have inside. Uh, he scoops them all up. 
brings them over to the group. I haven't a fucking clue what was in that box, but Baggy, you seem like the type of person who might. Uh, Baggy reaches for the the fabric first of all. All right. So very you, interesting. You pick up the fabric, and I'm going to determine how common this particular piece of fabric is, depending on your Arcana roll. <gasps> oh, please so, come on. So if it's on the higher echelons, I'm not going to allow any advantage on this, I'm afraid. Ooh. It is what it is, okay? Fair, fair. Oh, it should be good in theory. Okay, well, in, we in fairness, the, the chat has, uh, has contributed to making this box, so... Yeah. Okay. So it's not. Nice it's, so this is a uh, a piece of um, of cloth or weave, known as glamour weave. Um, the clothing is imbued with harmless illusory magic. While wearing the common version of these clothes, which is what the one it is, I'm afraid, uh, you can use a bonus action to create moving illusionary patterns within the cloth. So unfortunately, you don't have any of the uncommon stuff that's from, uh, under that, which is a shape. But essentially, there's a, a, a cloak in which can uh, change color, change different illusionary things with a bonus action. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. With a, with, if it was high enough, that would have been a fantastic piece to have for Oshi. Um, all right, cool. What else? You, you go and you, do you look at the rod? Oh, I missed the rod. I was too busy writing other things. <laughs> I would love, I would love to look at the rods, Jay. Okay, cool. Let's do another <laughs> Arcana check with that then. Uh, unless you've got anything like um, identify or anything like that you want to use, but let's just do an Arcana check with that. Okay, here we go. Oh, I, can oh. I not use my advantage on that? <laughs> Have you not got identify? I thought you had because you identified my at... amulet. No. Okay. I don't. So let's. I will. I will allow all the advantage on this one. It was just the other one that was more important. I think. Oh, amazing! Do you want me to re-roll for the advantage then? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Great. Just two seconds. Because I was just checking my bills. Come on, be good, be good, be good. No. Yeah. So those of us who are new. Those are ones who are new to us. This is the time in which we drink uh, whenever we get a crit. Mm. Mm. What well I mate. So um, this is a, a, a wonderful item. I love this item so much. Doesn't get used enough. So yeah, uh, okay. this is the immovable rod. Um, so it has a, a piece of rod that has like a horse on each side. The flat rod has a button on each end. You can use uh, an action to press the button in which causes the rod to become magically fixed in place. Until, I, until you or another creature use an action to push the button again, the rod doesn't move, even defying gravity. The rod can hold up to 8,000 pounds of weight. More weight causes the rod to deactivate and fail. The creature can use its action for DC of 30 strength check to move it just 10 feet. Wow. So this is a great little item. I love the immovable rod. It is so useful in so many different ways. Yes. All right. So you got the immovable rod, which is fantastic. Uh, well done, everybody. Um, well done, people at home. And then you've got these uh, these two stones as well. Yeah. Arcana check on the two stones. Yes, please. Okay, here we go. 22. Oh, yeah. yes, 21. Okay, so this. Oh, not, not swending. Great. So um, you grab hold of these stones. And you feel that they are magically connected in some way. Right. Um, that it seems as if something that's impressed in one appears in the other. As you are holding two set, uh, a set of uh, sending stones, which will allow you to send messages. So sending stones come in pairs, with each smooth stone carved with the match of the other uh, this pairing. So it's easily recognized. When you touch the stone, you can use an action to cast a sending spell for it. The target is the bearer of the other stone. No creatures bears the other stone. You know the fact that the stone is not be there and then it can't cast. Um, once sending is cast through the stones, you can't be used again until the next dawn. Uh, if one of the stones as a pair is destroyed, the other one becomes non-magical. So essentially, it's a bit like having a mobile phone. 
Ah, sick. <laughs> so <Yes>. useful. <laughs> so they're the, they're the three items that you've got from your care package. Amazing. Thank you, lovely community, Thanks, for using everyone. your sabotage bombs on the care package. Exactly. Yeah. Big love for that. So you can imagine and that's going to get... Of healing. Get higher like the potions of healing is the most important part of all of that so um you yeah have, have these items who would you like to kind of hand them out to and i think Badly uh, sort of says says what they are to everybody yeah i'm gonna give one sending stone to oshi and one sending stone to puffs as they oh, are nice. the sneaky sneaks will who will be sneaking of course. Um, everyone gets a potion of healing, obviously. Thank you. Uh, the immovable rod. I feel like I kind of want to keep the immovable rod <laughs> for myself. And then the fabric I'll give to, to Big Fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's nothing so personal. Good. Just right. So good. It's the flex. <laughs> Clips on like magnets at the side. Kakunk, kakunk. <laughs> I feel fancy as fuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> and what does the fabric do when you say that? It just like waves out, like mm -hmm. a ripple in a pond. And does it have any illusionary effects on the on it as it does it? Uh, the burning cigars into paper effects as it starts. That ember starts to. Oh, fall over. real nice. Yes. Good. As we kind of focus down on one of those burns and it kind of like... As we're going to take a small little break there. I love Hi. the fact we've been playing for an hour and you just got out of the bar. That's like my favourite <laughs> thing in the entire world. Um, good. Well, we're going to take a little break. Um, we're going to see some stuff from our good friends um, before we go into a break. Um, but we'll be going for about, about what do you reckon, five, ten minutes, guys? Yeah. yeah, can I ask a, a little favour of the chat whilst we're gone? Yeah, go for it. Amazing. Guys, whilst you're, whilst you're on this break, if you've got nothing to do, if you wouldn't mind heading over... Oh, that, yep, that did work. Heading over to our Facebook page and giving our Facebook page a little review on there because that'll push us up in algorithms and things and make us more searchable and then we can grow the community, have bigger and better Sabotage Bombs care packages. So if you've got two minutes, that would be awesome. Thank there you. Is a, there is actually one other thing I'd like to do talking about doing something for the chat um could you pop a shout out for zach's big wave for me yeah says exhibition mark so at zach stack underscore big underscore wave mm. i don't reason i have to say that because i don't think zach's here so this is why i wanted to might have to say it but um essentially they they are really good friends of ours um they do a wonderful stream on the other side uh, and Good. it's not quite, but I, I will figure it out myself. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can click it in because I know how he spelled his name. It's very strange. It's got a different way of spelling right. it. Um, but essentially, he they are so close to being affiliate status. They, I think they're about one or two follows away. So I'm wondering if somebody could pop over there, there uh, pop over there and, and sort them out. Uh, just give them a couple um of of follows and that would actually be be brilliant if it was one of our guys that actually pushed them over the edge i would be really really happy with that let me just see if that one works there we go so that's the one there the one i just sent out um it would be brilliant if it was one of us but that did it so please if you have a second pop over and um and just give them a couple of follows if we can get them over 50 I will do something good. I don't know what it is I'll do. I'll do something nice. Another tattoo. I yeah. I know. How about, how about if I just don't kill Rob? Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Um, oh, so, yeah. So if, you, <laughs> so, if you can pop all over there board. and give him a couple of follows, that'd be brilliant. So, we're going to go away for a couple of minutes. Um, so, we'll see you guys in a little while. Can see you a bit. See you later. Bye.
It's so nice to kind of come back from the break, look at the chat and just see done, 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 done. Um, I think all of us here have, have seen and chatted with Big Zach, uh, with Zach's Big Wave. And it's there's such a great little game and you really, really go check them out. But I'm so happy because I think they're now over the over the 50 mark, which which makes me really, really happy. So well done, guys. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. Smashed it. It's like hashtags small streamers unite exactly <laughs> <laughs> so good um so welcome back everybody uh we've all got our beer i'm guessing Bert. Mm -hmm. i'm Bert. sticking with water because i think i might pass out if i have a beer oh baby stay with the water stay strong oh, yeah stay with the water um good 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 so um we have gone as usual here on what did war rats we've done about this much of what i planned so uh we're gonna crack on to the next part uh unless anyone has anything they want to say before we move on no yeah. all good well, oh fergoration needs to go get a beer so we should wait we should wait for ferg to get a beer um Oh yeah, of course. I forgot my beer. Waiting for Ferg to come back. Unless it is Robin. Gabs, what are you eating? I always want to know. Cookie Crunch Galaxy. Oh yeah. Nice. Very very classy. Very very nice. Is Ferg back yet? Ferg, are you back with a beer yet? Mm. Really important that we make sure nobody misses anything. <laughs> uh, anybody at home? Are you drinking? Yeah, oh, back. Yes. back. Yes. Yeah, good, 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 good. Right, okay. Oh my gosh. Snap. <laughs> oh, we've got a connection across the void, uh, as I think um, Omland's also got, uh, got the same chocolate. That's Good my work. mate Ollie. He's always got chocolate. He's always got the best chocolate, actually. <laughs> like he'll literally be like, open up a little little jacket and be like, "Do you fancy this?" And it's always something great, like a hybrid. <laughs> he just has them in his jackets. Yeah, like in pockets, and yeah. Are they not part time as a vending machine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time, times times are hard. Vending machine, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so you guys, we're gonna crack on. Um, so <laughs> snack ninja. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> so you guys are going to start leaving um, the the yawning, not the yawning portal, sorry, the skewered dragon. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. So you guys are currently here. I'm hoping you guys are actually on this page. Otherwise, yes, you are. Good. All right. Um, I'm trying something different this time for the chat. Um, this is the screen that I see, so you guys can see everything. So just be aware that. If you see any creatures in the background, don't say anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, so you start making your way um, up the street towards the um, what is known as the old Zogglob shop. Um, okay. Can I get a perception check from somebody, please? Who's doing it? I don't oh. mind doing it. Who's Go on, doing it? I got it. I love it. It's like, yeah. like oh! oh, that was worth the wait. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so the first two things you notice um, is that... Oh, hang on, where's the odds on club? Sorry, guys. Give me a second. 
And you, first thing you notice is that there is like a cloud of like, almost you can almost smell this lavender in the air. And it's kind of like purple like smoke sort of pours out of this shop as you kind of peer inside. Uh, every single wall is painted purple and every single dusted knick-knack on the shelves is also dyed a deep violet purple. Uh, you can see a hairless gnome sitting cross-legged in the centre wearing plum-covered robes. His cheeks are decorated with nine purple-faced uh, painted eyes. The gnome lowers his... Um, as, that's what you can see from the outside. With that, you also see a um, unicorn amulet or necklace lying... Or just the, just the amulet, actually, itself lying on the street just outside the shop um, almost as if it's been tossed aside um, as you see the old club club shop and this the small uh, unicorn amulet on the ground um i think with a with a natural 20 the smell is quite overwhelming so the senses are working a bit too well and so pups is sort of like starting to almost like like hay fever up <laughs> but like points over and is like is that I think that's that unicorn of our uh, of our boy so, uh, should I go and have a look you kind of pick it up and yeah. it is this really gaudy like it doesn't look like it's worth very much at all but mm. it's tacky a little bit rubbish um, but it is a, a unicorn emblem. It looks as if um, the, the parts of it that were connected to some sort of necklace seems as if been ripped off mm. as well. I think they were... Um, and actually, inside... for for the 23, I'm going to give you that there is a small blue beard, uh, bead mm -hmm. um, about 10 feet away from it in a direction. Okay. Um, Pups picks it up and notices that the clasp is on uh, both on one side of it to suggest that like it's been ripped at a point. So um, there's, I think there was a struggle here. I think maybe this got ripped off of um, a floon. And I think there's a um, there's something over there as well. And like he sort of tosses it behind him in the direction of of the other three, hoping that someone will catch it and goes after the uh, goes after the um, little. Little bauble, marble. Okay, so somebody try and catch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, do, let's do a slight pound and see if you catch it. I think I'm going to be the closest I can get to mouth grab. Slight of mouth. <laughs> <laughs> chomp, chomp. <sighs> oh, and you kind of go to go grab it like a dog who's like seeing a frisbee. <gasps> chomp. And you kind of miss the chomp. Uh, as it kind of goes past you to behind you, which I think the two of you guys are. Um, does someone try and grab it? Or just let it spin? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like Oshley might have a slight delayed reaction. Oh, Oshley can try and grab it. Okay. With <laughs> 17? Yeah, 17. Great. Uh, so you kind of grab hold of it. You know when you grab hold of something and you're like, good, 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 Nailed it. <laughs> 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 And you have hold of the of the unicorn for now. Uh, and you kind of like stumble back towards the shop. Uh, you kind of hit the shop itself. Um, and that smell of lavender like kicks into your nose. We going in or? Yeah, I think that was probably a good idea. <laughs> Cover up the smell of our goblin friend here as well. <laughs> Everybody in the street is like, what? the fuck as they're walking by it's quite a busy street this is one of the main streets in the dock ward and everyone's looking at you like what the actual fuck you hear a couple a of people are like to... you'll carry on what were you gonna say joe uh i'm gonna say carry on uh so pup sort of starts to notice them turn around and go and sort of looks them all dead in the eye like quite wild-eyed and goes Happy Troll Tide! <laughs> so you got to push into the door? 
Uh, and you see this gnome, this deep gnome, sort of sat on a purple cushion. And he's smoking a pipe. Howdy. It's a fine oh. smell of tobacco you got there. Hey, Western. Uh, well met. Come browse the shelves of the most curious curiosity shop in all the world. And it's just clear that he is like off his nut. <laughs> um, as you kind of look around this shop, and this shop is like it's it's full of rubbish stuff, really. <laughs> The whole place is full of rubbish. But what you do notice as you walk in is like a, almost like a plushy, like a like a, a furry um Zanath, like not a furry like ball with eyes, with eyes that are coming off of it, and it's sort of <laughs> sitting on the wall. Um as it bounces on the elastic and he's up there all dressed in purple. Like, <sighs> you know, May I just say uh in a professional sense, if you're looking to to smoke with a herb, you should be smoking with a lighter tobacco. I find the heavier herbs really just stick too much. Uh here, take my card. Uh big fat smoking emporium. Uh, he you know, takes it, he looks at it, he's like, oh wow. I like that your ink is slightly purple, big fats. I don't tend to use any tobacco. I find that I'm trying to quit. Well, I've got good tobacco for pipe. quitting as well, if you want. <laughs> oh, great. He sort of like looks up at you. I like this guy. He sort of talks to nobody. <laughs> I like and, me too. And he's like, stay away. Sorry, my uh, grandma is here. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <laughs> as you can see on the card, my name is Big Fats. Uh, these are my uh, colleagues here behind me. Um, we were uh, recently in business with a man named Floon. Uh, ooh, Floon, Blagbert, Blagart, Blagmar, Blagmar. Uh, he uh, he pulled a runner on us, and we're hoping to uh, collect the shipment that was lost. Uh, I'm a tobacco man. Um, do you by any chance know if you'd seen him, strawby haired fella? Um, uh, um, I'm gonna need you to be a little bit quicker in thinking if that's a possibility. Okay, do you you try to intimidate him there, like or persuade him in some way? Uh, I'm going to start with persuasion. All right. Let's do a persuasion check. And we'll work towards intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... 19. 19. Really nice. <laughs> nice. And he looks at him and goes, I like you, uh, big skinny. You're great. Um, yeah, like... What does he look like? He just needs that extra kind of thought process just to kick in. Strawberry haired fella. Um, might have seen him walking with uh, another fella who looked a lot like him. Twins, oh. almost, you might say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Outside my shop. Uh, and oh, then yeah. He, 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 oh, oh. Oh yeah, and he got kind of repeats it back to you, and then gets lost. The word "yeah" is a really interesting one, and then kind of turns and looks. Oh, sorry, focus, focus, zop glop, focus. Fats is gonna take the pipe if he's if he's taking his hands off the pipe. Fats is gonna take it and hold it up to his face. Uh, Keep your attention on the prize. It's like uh, they were. Uh, Similar dressed people were were jumped, and he cut his eyes are on the pipe. Uh, were jumped outside the shop. Okay. And then they went that way, and he like points away up Ship Street. Do you know who jumped them? No. No. Are you sure? And he starts to like almost tip out the pipe. <gasps> oh, um, no, I don't know. And he begins to cry. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Please. <laughs> you, sir, are pathetic. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Back to the pipe. And he like, grabs hold of it. He's like, oh. 
And he looks up again. He's like, who are you, kitten? And he looks at it. Ah, big fats, yes. Uh, there were there were five of them. Five of them jumped them and put them in a cart. Cart, okay. Mm. And they but, headed up Ship Street, is that correct? Yeah. And they're wearing like black armor. Black armor, all right. Mm. I do, and then he tries it on. Um, I can't remember the other details. And why is that? A um, little light I could do with some gold. <laughs> and he's like, but he thinks, he's just like, shut up, don't tell them that. Don't say it. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got could, quite a lot of steel I could give you in the form of this bloody fist if you don't hurry up and tell me where they go. And he kind of pauses and you just kind of grab hold of his little collar and pick him up. All right, now we're into intimidation time, right? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh. I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll okay. it. So you kind of like... you. Uh, and then your your cloak bursts into flame, uh, and, you, and you pick him up, and you say a certain amount of words. So what do you say to him? Fucking tell me, or <gasps> I'm gonna smoke you like that pipe. <laughs> and it's like it begins to shake, and you lift him off of the the purple cushion. He's like, they had a tattoo, a tattoo. All right, they had a tattoo. Tattoo of what? A dragon. It's just going downwards like a black dragon. That's it. That's all I remember. And they hit it in a card up Ship Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ship Street. Shush! <laughs> and he looks back again. <laughs> all right. If I find out you're lying about anything, I'm going to come back. Great. Please don't come back ever because I'm telling the truth, okay? I'm telling the truth. Don't. <sighs> No, it's it's that was all I saw. That's what it is. That's it. All right. And he puts him down. And then as soon as you put him down, he goes, well, I'm connected, you know. Connected to what? Stuff. And then you're never going to find out because you're an evil person. Would an evil person do this? And he slams his fist over the pipe and breaks it. Oh. <gasps> He's like, and he's like scrambling, and you sort of like, as you turn to leave, you see him scrambling, trying to grab the like. <laughs> so he's trying to suck in the last bits of the uh, the smoke. And as Fats is walking out the door, as I recommended earlier, you should be smoking that with a lighter form of tobacco. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Oshi is the last to leave, and as she's just about to close the door, she says. And your granny, so she's really disappointed in you. And then just slams the door. <laughs> you sort of see him crying. As this like this plushy of that eye, that purple eye sort of swings across. And as you begin to walk away, it blinks. As you continue you continue up. Um continue up the street. Alright, so uh you seeing these beads, I'm gonna start giving you this. You you start following the beads. Okay. Um and it sort of takes you around the dock ward. I'm actually gonna use actually here, this is a good time to do this actually. I'm gonna do a random encounter in the in the dock ward and see what comes up. Nice. Um, so I've just bought this book um which is called Um it's called Water Deep, Water Deep City Encounters. It's a great book you can get on DMs Guild. Um, it's very good for just like creating these small little crazy moments. Just let you know the city is still going. So let's have a look and see what we get. Oh my god, no, I'm not telling with that because that is that's way too on point. Okay, okay, hue and cry is what we're gonna go for. All right, so just bear with me a second as I search through my massive PDF looking for this particular one story. Um, I think while that's happening, um, as as, uh, as we're walking up, Pups is just over the shoulder of Big Fats going, one of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm with y'all. just don't like having my time wasted. Nah. <laughs> um, so, some... Sorry, carry on. 
<clears throat> Oshie's just like rammed what like a loads of rations, so loads of bread in her mouth, <laughs> and she's like trying to down loads of water because she's like, I need to get my shit together. It's only ten past two. Like, come on, babes, you've got this. <laughs> she's really trying hard to sober up. That grandmother comment you said earlier that was particularly cutting. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. As you hear the kind of like as you're going, one of us. Boom, 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 boom. As you kind of come around, around the corner of, um, let's say, Prosper Street. So you kind of like come back down towards Prosper Street, which is here. Uh, so let's mark it there. Um, you hear this kind of drum, boom, 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 boom. As you come around the corner, you see there is a huge crowd of people. And they are all shouting and screaming and banging drums. Um, and they're just shouting like, where are you, you dirty bastard? And they're sort of like trying to find, they're sort of shouting out for like looking for somebody. Um, and they're kind of like making as much noise as they possibly can as you kind of start walking up the street towards them. You ever encountered this before, Big Fats? Yeah. We live in a shithole. This kind of stuff happens all the time. So, Big Fats, you know that this is like the precursor to vigilantism. This is like people bagging drums and making noise to, to try and get the city watch to come to the area because there is actually a crime, a criminal on the loose somewhere that nobody is taking notice of. Don't know how many guards you've seen down here, especially being on Black Star. I bet you saw, saw fuck all. So uh, this mess. is what we here call heralding, looking for some reinforcement from the city uh, guards. But you know what this is? And he looks around the three of you. Not our fight. Mm. As the, the crowd sort of cuts coming around you, and some of them are holding wanted posters up. Um, of a face and they sort of start coming around you and sort of almost like you're parting the sea as they kind of like continue around you and you see somebody they're like do you want to catch a criminal he's been a right dirty bugger um and it's sort of like he's like handing you a, a wanted poster and big fat after having said not our fight looks to the three of you to see what you're gonna do pops just keeps looking for uh for gems on the floor and also puts his hand across his uh his belt pouches doesn't want to be pickpocketed in this crowd <laughs> yeah back is very much the same kind of ignoring it overwhelmed by it confused by it mm. mm. uh, she looks up at big fats with like puppy dog eyes and i guess she's the one that's been given the one to post and she's like maybe maybe just just <laughs> come me for like just, just two minutes. Okay. Does okay. it say anything about a reward on there? She's like, nope. Mm, no, no, it, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. As the crowd kind of goes past you, and this like ethereal DM fingers come across to their notes and adds in, did not help in any way. <laughs> Use later as a dagger cool <laughs> <laughs> as you guys continue off um you make your way kind of a bit of a a bit of a, a jigsaw around um the water the dock ward and you end up making your way to oh where is it I'm actually something that I haven't marked. It's, it's actually, I haven't marked on the map where the actual thing is. And I know where it is. Okay, cool. Um, it kind of yeah. takes you all the way to uh, Candle Lane. Um, which some of you guys know. I think um, I think all of you know in some way. Because maybe Baggy has gone on an errand towards that area. I think Oshie would have walked past there. I think Pops maybe had done some currying there. And so you know it to be a very dark and dingy sort of area of, of Waterdeep. And um, you essentially, the buildings sort of seem feel as if they're kind of climbing over you. 
um, as this narrow alley sort of appears. It's almost as dark as a dungeon. Um, and it feels dangerous in itself. Nearly all of the street lamps have been smashed in some way. Um, and there's only one light that sort of pierces the darkness. And it flickers down the lane. Uh, almost like a, a very distant candle. Um, I don't know if you guys would know anything about this, but like the lore of this lane in any way, but that seems to be the only candle that's lit. And I think um, Big Fats, as you walk in, you just go blind, as it's because it's so dark. Well, I can't see shit. For a light um, torch? Yeah. Okay. Big Fats lights a torch. Thanks. Would Pops have remembered anything from his time uh, sneaking through here? Yeah, sure. Let's do a, bit, a little history check. Yeah. 17. Yeah, so you know that there is a candle. The reason it's called Candle, Ke oh, candle Lane is because there is a candle that continually burns, um, and it's magic candle. No matter what happens, it will always burn and always lights in the, in the alleyway itself. Uh, but nothing about like any potential dangers, anything like that. Um, oh, sorry, the car just went past. That's really loud. Um, the whole place is dangerous. Okay. But you're following these beads. Yeah. And these beads come across to a uh, the front of a warehouse, actually. And the warehouse that stands in front of you is two stories high. Let me just get you guys in. Oh, new map, map change. New map. Uh, and you're sitting in front of what looks like, um, it's almost like a, a gate, like a, a fence that kind of goes across and then a big gate. And there's like a yard that sits inside that. And then you can see there's a set of double doors that sits inside there. Um, I think pups with your passive, I think you see... Actually, no, I'm going to ask you to roll this. Can you roll a perception check for me, please? Uh-huh. 17. Nice. Okay. You see etched into one of the sides of the of the gate, you see your little symbol, the um the Asmodeus symbol. Okay. It's tiny. It's less than an inch high. It's really really small. Um Pops chooses not to say anything about the symbol. Um but just turns to everyone and says, "Well, We've maybe found our boy here. We probably should be ready for a fight. Well, you're already covered in blood, so I'd say that's as ready as you can get. <laughs> uh, is there another... Um, is there just one entrance? Does it look like I could get up from high? It looks as if there's one entrance, yeah. The rest of it, it doesn't seem to have very many windows. It seems to be much more of an in like a, a warehouse sort of storage space which means it would have mm -hmm. less windows but they've got the the gate in front of you is sort of is sort of latched over mm. um what would you like to do you've sobered up yet he looks at Oshi. i feel better mm. do you want to do a con save and see how good you are yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, you're sober enough now, so I think the deck stuff is sort of disappearing. Um, okay, you cool. just you just feel a little bit nauseous now. Yeah, probably that faint headache, you know, on yeah. one side, one eye. You're just yeah. desperate for oh. something to drink. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do this quick then. <clears throat> yeah, guns blazing or sneaky? Sneaky. No blazing, please. Okay, so you're all going to be sneaky. Um, Baggy, I think you look at the, the gate lock uh, and you kind of see that there's a very, very simple lock. Um, it's probably less of a lock and more of like a stay just to kind of keep it shut more than anything else. Um, okay, so let's get let's get some stealth checks from you guys. Oh. Mm. Uh, 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 sneaky, sneaky, snail. Yeah. Ooh. 
Mm. Um, right. Ooh. So, like, I think that happens is that you guys sort of go through one side. So, I think Pups, Big Fats, and Oshi go through one side of the gate. And it's, like, quiet. And then Baggy goes to push the other side. It's like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 and it sort of echoes around the space. <laughs> As you kind of make your way inside the, the compound. Oh, Let me just move you guys in. Okay, you guys, you can move in. That's good. So you guys kind of move in. Can we go in? Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, so you kind of make your way. Oh, too far there, Beggy. Too far. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't right. see anything. Okay, I'll so let back. me just, I'm just going to quickly change <laughs> some settings to make sure you can't do that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't Stay do out. it again. Don't ever do it Stay again. Stay out of my room, Don't Beggy. Again. <laughs> oh that's strange it doesn't look like a can okay so you kind of go and make your way into the yard and you can see in front of you is a, a large um you can see there's a window over here to the side and then there's a large gateway which sort of sits in front of you here as well was like one of those big shut doors um you see that it's two stories high you do you do think that if you you could probably climb up to another window, but the, it looks as if all the windows are shut at this stage. <laughs> Including this one up uh, up in the north? Yeah, that's closed up as well. Hey, Snakey's your forte, so where do we go from here? I mean, I can climb over and have a look. All right. Otherwise, I'm going to bust in that door there real loud and scary. <laughs> and Pops has to try really hard to not just, like, let Big Fats do that. <laughs> um, but do you say you could climb over this? You could, like, pull yourself over the top? Never look. Yeah, so you kind of, like, pull yourself up to the window. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do a perception check where you are. Okay... Ten. Ten. Okay, so what you see inside is a fairly standard warehouse. It looks very empty. Um, it looks very dusty. You do see kind of what looks like the feet of um, some sort of statue. A um, little bit higher up. But rather than that, it looks like a generally looks like a normal, a normal, sta normal warehouse. Um, sort of holding on pops with one hand just sort of like reaches in pulls out the sending stone and goes clear and puts and then, it back in to Oshie. and then on the sending stone it just goes clear with a bit of a <laughs> at the end of it <laughs> <laughs> um, and Oshi turns to Big Fats and Baggy and says well it's clear so do what you've got to do Big Fats and puts the stone back in Okay, I'm bursting in doors. All right, so you want to kick the door down? I want to run at it and like, <laughs> launch myself through it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh jeez. He, do... he gets the he gets the the the, the cloth and he like rolls it up into a headband. <laughs> ties it around the All right, so let's do a fresh cigar. Let's do um, an athletics check with advantage, please. Oh, please be good. Oh, it's going to be good. 20, baby. Okay, so you kind of smash this door open uh, as you run inside. So if you want to put yourself inside for me. There we go, bring you in. Pop is like... Uh, do you guys follow? Yeah, I vault yeah. open land inside. Oh, fuck, guys. I've just seen it. <laughs> so you run in. So you just seen it. Can you do a uh, wisdom saving throw for me, please? Oh, me? Yeah. Yes, please. Would love to. Love to. Oh, jeez. Oh, my days. Skittish. It's a 10. Okay, so what you see is a massive statue of a devil. Uh, and you are absolutely terrified of it. So you're now frightened. You cannot go any closer towards that statue. Pups, you've just made your way into the room. 
Mm -hmm. Can you do a wisdom saving throw for me, please? With advantage. 20. Oh, great. You are not scared of this thing because you know what it is, what it depicts. Um, as the, you kind of run in, like, big fat so <laughs> smashes through the great door. And the rest of you guys, are you following? Um, oh, she's going to go to here, so she can see in, but she's kind of stealthy, so she's not in because she doesn't know what's in there. Okay, Courtney, can you do a wisdom saving throw for me, please, because you can see in? Yeah. Three. Three. Okay, so you are, you are also very frightened. It's lovely to see a new follower. Thank you, Daddy Dragon. Daddy Dragon 84. Mwah. Lovely to see you. Um, so yeah, you are now you are now terrified and frightened of this creature. So you cannot go any closer to mm -hmm. um, to this thing. Uh, Baggy, what do you want to do? Well, I can see it. I could see it pretty much from when Big okay. Fat kicked down the door. So, okay. and I'm yeah. not going any closer. So yeah, <laughs> you, you can see it. So let's do um, let's do a, a check then, please. Okay, wisdom save. Here we go. Aww. Oh. Eight. So you are now terrified and frightened of it as well. Um, I think, um, pups, under your voice, you just say Asmodeus. Yeah. Um, as you kind of make your way in, literally as you kind of guys come in, suddenly, out of nowhere. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. There we are. Suddenly, out of nowhere, um, you big fats. You uh, feel something like hit you. Okay, let's have a look. Seventeen. Does that hit you? I believe it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so this this arrow goes <laughs> and slams into your chest, uh, taking six piercing damage, and then uh, another one comes in towards you pups mm -hmm. let's see what happens 15 misses uh another one goes towards uh baggy actually i think they can see you baggy yeah she's exposed seven piercing damage ah oh, bollocks uh and then the last one is going to fire on big fats again as well come at me um yeah, that one hits for eight piercing you. damage. Um, as you see um, up in the rafters, you just hear this. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> Smash the door in. <laughs> it's sort of like these different voices kicking through as there are four Kenku that are above oh, you. So let's roll some initiative then, please, everybody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We have got bombs upon bombs upon bombs, peeps. Okay, so let's just get rid of them. Get rid of some people. Okay, oh, so it's what the <laughs> Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a look. What we got? Baggy and 16. Oshi rolled in for the... Uh, for 11. Okay, cool. That gives mm. me a marker. 16. Great. Okay. Um, As these kind of like, you get this first surprise attack kind of kicks in from these uh, Kenku. Um, okay. So it looks as if Big Fats, you have the first moment to respond to this huge attack. Well, Big Fats is a little bit embarrassed about the fact that he's frightened. So he naturally responds to that with getting really angry. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I, sh I should say actually that a couple of these guys dropped to the floor. Uh, so in fact, they all dropped to the floor as after they fired. So they're now on the ground. Great. Just, just to help you out. <laughs> um, for those that's watching, you can tell Big Fats is about to go into rage because the entire cigar just goes. <laughs> and smokes all the way to the, the bottom, and he swallows the rest, and as he blows the smoke out of the sides of his mouth he goes come on motherfuckers uh, <laughs> rage, gonna move, rage 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 gonna rage, 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 rage rage he's gonna move rage. to that that motherfucker there <laughs> and uh he's going to go for 
a sheep and a shepherd attack. Okay. Swing with his sheep. Are you going recklessly? Um, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> Not for this one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. a re-roll is what it's going to be. <laughs> okay, okay, you're going to re-roll that one. That's better. 19. Nice. 19. 19 hits. Awesome. So that will do. Oh, that will do that. Um, nine, nine damage. damage. Okay, great. It's he kind of like, it's it, the shepherd's a little axe, isn't it? So the sheep and shepherd are both hand axes. Yep. Sheep so is his like, main hand. Shepherd is his off he's, hand. You slap across the face with the the with sheep uh, as it kind of cuts across its jaw, and then you come across for your second. With the I don't leg. think I can actually because rage was my bonus action. There you are. You're absolutely correct. As you slap him across the face um, with that one there, pups. Um, you just see uh, big fats kind of run over. Unless big fats, you want to move or anything like that. Uh, I'm gonna stay there, but I am also. Would you allow me an object object interaction to skull my potion of healing? Yeah, I'll allow that. Awesome. Two d four plus plus four, right? Yep. Two d four plus two. That's two. That is eight. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, as you, as pups, you just see your friend kind of get, um, have loads of arrows kind of kick into them and then run over to somebody and just beat the shit out of them in one hit. Um, mm. So pups, you now, it's now your go. How is that Kenku looking? Um, do you want to have a look? Do you want to take your time looking at it? No. Okay. No, I'm just going to go to here. Oh, shit. Before I start, um, Big Fats, can you do a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Oh, yes. Awesome. 15. Great. You are no longer afraid. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay. So big, for Pups, you kind of run across the side and you kind of stand next to the behind this guy um, as Big Fats is, is engaging with them, allowing you yeah. to have a flank. Yeah, I'm imagining sort of like almost like running around the wall and then like flipping off into that spot. Um, for quarter staff with advantage, 19. Yeah, it hits. For six. Great, and tell me what that looks like. Uh, amazing. So um, uh, it comes up behind and brings the quarter staff through the bow that they just shot with and like flings it up into the air and uh, and sort of flicks it and then hits them in the back of the head as they go. And just carries on running. Nice. You gotta go on to another target. Yeah. Okay, crack on. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 to there. Mm -hmm. Um and Yeah, let's do it. Flurry of blows. Sorry, bro. First key point use. This is first really, key point. Really nice moment. Sixteen. Yeah, that hits. For seven. Nice. And you kind of punch him in the back of the head. And I've got one more, haven't I? Yes. 22. Yeah, and that hits as well. For eight. Nice. Okay, what does that look like? Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, hits in the back of the head, carries on running, and sort of like faints with the quarter staff. So they mm -hmm. uh, so they sort of duck, and then as they come through, just uppercut one, knee with the other, slump forwards. Really, really nice. Spins Great. round, ready. Uh, we go through to Oshi. So Oshi, you were terrified of this this um, statue in front of you. Yeah, can so I use my bonus? Oh. It means you can't move any closer to it, but you can oh. do anything else you'd like. Can I use my bonus action to hide? Okay, yeah. let's have a quick look and see what happens. Okay, do you want to go for a hide? Go for a yeah. Uh, stealth? Uh, yeah. 24. Oh, it beats it. <laughs> it beats it on a crit, but it beats it. Dear me. So the one that... um, This this Kenku. Yep. She's going to go for a short bow with advantage because she's on her sneak attack. So 23. Yeah, it hits. For 10. Nice. Good, is it like... Pew. 
it goes through the air and just slams into its chest and it's sort of like oh and you can see it's, it's definitely winded um, and it sort of stumbles back onto a onto a, a crate and then kind of gets back up again is she still hidden <laughs> sorry i've just seen that i've just got loads of advantages great Alex um, Bell has you just are given not, us seven DM advantages. You are not you are not hidden, no. Okay. You're now unhidden. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? She'd like to hide again. Could you do that or not? Nope. You've used your bonus action to hide already. Um no, then she's just gonna pray to Seth himself. Okay. And then do your wisdom saving pray for me? Saving throws thirteen. Not enough, I'm afraid. You're still fr frightened of the of the devil. Okay, so uh, Baggy, you are currently outside in the yard, and you've just seen Big Fats do something, and then uh, what could only be described as a green and red blur. You know that joke? <laughs> What's green and red, and like is a blurry? Um, that's kind of what you've just seen, and then two people fall. Uh, yeah. And then you saw Oshi fire across the way towards something that you can't see. Um, and a big twerk, like, that's what happened <laughs> on the edges. Oh, can I not see this? I can see the, the kinky. Oh, cool. If you the can see them, that... that's great. That's great. If you can oh, see them, you can see them. Oh, not one there. No, I can see this one. Okay, cool. Yeah, you see that one there, but not the other one. So, Baggy, because she's bloody terrified, she's, she's fumbling around. She's been fumbling, trying to find her old faithful. It's the only thing she can think to do. Uh, so she's get, she gets out the old lighter and uh, casts Firebolt towards that Kenki. Nice. And it's a 23. Oh, nice, so that hits for Shawzies. Oh, unlucky. That's what happened with cantrips, I'm afraid. And so you, you fire across it, it sort of slabs into its face, it sort of singes, singes some of its its feathers. It loses a few feathers. Um, and... To be honest, I think that's all she's going to do, apart from maybe just move out of sight of everything to about <laughs> here. She can't go any further. Yeah, that's fine. Um, do you want me to do with some saving throw? Yes, please. Okay. It's 13. Not enough. You are still frightened. Okay, so then the Kenku start kind of piling in. So I think this one's going to move to... Let me have a think about this. Can I can I screw you over as much as possible? Yes. I'm going to move to there. Um, and it's going to go for an attack on pups. But it's short sword. Short sword. 18. I'm going to make you re-roll that, Joe, please. Oh, I'm going to take the advantage and I'm going to roll it. I'm going to take it as it is. So 18. Oh! Um, 18 so hits. 18 hits for eight piercing damage. Nice. Uh, this one here is going to. Let's see if you can get there. Come to here and it's going to take the advantage uh, on the attack on you, pups. Huh? Oh, my God, it created it. Oh, that's a crit. So, uh. it... so I'm going to have a drink on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't drink to that, but my cup is empty. Um, so it takes for 10 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. suddenly, out of nowhere, out of the darkness, um, you... Oh, that's a good point. So currently, I just need to clear some of my head. Rob, you're currently holding a torch and the shepherd. Uh, yeah, I don't have any light on my screen apart from Baggy's illumination, but yeah, currently. Okay, so give me a second. I'm just going to drop you um, a torch. I've got a torch actually for you. I uh, made it oh. for you. Thanks, Joe. That's all right, mate. Uh, where is it? I think it's in the characters. There it is. There you go. Nice. So that means, to so you're aware, you're holding a torch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. out of the darkness, um, suddenly something like fires towards you as a short bow comes in. 22 hits for uh, seven, hits. seven piercing damage. So that is... Three. three. Uh, and another one comes in towards you as well. 16. 16 hits, and I'll take the two. I'll take two. 
Great. So I think that is everybody. Great. And we're round to the, the top. So uh, Big Fat, so you now have an opportunity to respond. Um, Big Fat is going to move over to... Oh, I'm taking the torch with me, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's, you can do... You, mm -hmm. I'm happy for that. It's now in your control anyway, so you can hold on to it. Awesome. Uh, and he's going to come in... Um, He's going to tap Kenku on the back and he's going to go, they say smoking kills. Well, I'm a cigar salesman. And he's going to hit him <laughs> with the sheep. Let's have a look with advantage. advantage. 21. 21. Yep, yeah, that hits. Four. Six. Six, nice. I love the fact you roll one and get six. <laughs> 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 so that, that um, Kenku looks bloodied now. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Um, no, I think I'm going to stay put with that. Great. Okay, Pops, you are surrounded on two sides. I am surrounded, aren't I? But I am also flanking this one, so I'm going to hit them with my quarter staff for a crit. Nice. <laughs> Woo baby. Oh, so for 15 bludgeoning damage. Wow. Yes. So tell me what that looks like. And here is me thinking that like Oshi was going to take all the kills. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, so Pups um, at, like gestures to hit them in the head actually like jams into their feet, hits the quarter staff against their feet and then just grabs their head and just smashes it, dashes it into the wall. Nice. Um, but I think you have to jump up to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so like Jump. so almost pole vaults as with the quarter staff as you go up. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice. Um lands, turns round, hits this other Kenku twice with my other key point. Okay, so you're burning through those key points. Nineteen you know, hits. Nineteen for seven. Great, and tell me what that looks like. Ah amazing. Um so I was expecting that. So uh so spins round. Uh, smashes that one, lands, and just rising elbow strikes under the beak and sort of like snaps it upwards like this. Really, really nice. As it falls, now, to, the, falls to the ground. I have a question. Is that key point spent because I called it even though I didn't use it? Yes. Same way that if you called us a spell slot and it didn't work, it would still be disappeared. Copy that. Okay. That's but you do have movement. I don't know if you can still get up to anybody else. Um, I can't see anyone else. Well, um, go, in, go in a direction and see if you see them. Yeah. Oh, no, I can. I can see someone up here. Um, what have I done? I've done action, bonus action. Okay, I'm going to chug my potion. Mm -hmm. For five. Mm -hmm. Um... Hmm. And then I'm going to fall prone. Okay. So you jump full. That allows you to have some, some disadvantages against you. That's a good idea. Well done. Okay, Oshi. Okay. Um, you've seen some arrows come out and out of the darkness towards Big Fats. Um, but that is all. Yeah, oh, she can't do anything. She can't move and she can't see anyone. Do you want to fire into the darkness? Um. Well, she thinks she can see someone here. Do it. If you if you think that you could do it, go for it. Why not? Um. Okay, she's going to use her bonus action to hide so she gets her stealth attack. Okay, let me see if I can just check. Uh, so do your sneak for me. 25. Yep, that's hidden. Um, so you're okay. hidden away. So now you're firing into the darkness and you think you can see somebody. Um, so this is going to be three quarters cover, which is a plus five to racy. Okay, ready? Come on. 23. Yeah, 23. that hits. Yeah, it hits. So essentially you, you clip a wing as it goes through. Uh, for how many? For nine. As you hear a cry out. Um, and it sounds like Big Fats when it cries out. 
Um, but it's it's really really high up, and it's up here that you just clip the right part of the wing uh, as you take nine nine damage for that. Really really nice. Can you do a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Nineteen. You are yeah. no longer no longer scared of the Asmodea statue that's in the center. Really really nice. Okay, Baggy. She just flips her bees at it. So you can see there's a oh, window. That's what that is. So you can see a, a window up here. Um, and you can nice. also see the the um, the doorway that obviously you need to go to. But other than that, you're pretty blind in your spot that you are in. Okay. Um, I feel like Baggy... Oh, will she... I don't think she would be able to. Having seen uh, Oshi just shoot in that general direction, can... Oh, I don't know what's best to do here. I feel like Baggy's going to go up to the window. Mm -hmm. Uh and oh, can i do like a perception check to see if i can hear anything on the other side of it or yeah, see sure. anything yeah do a perception That's, check that, that'll be obviously my action mm -hmm. um oh <laughs> it's a crit, <laughs> it's a crit <laughs> fest <laughs> there it is i'm just going to take all of the dregs of the cans that i've got around me mm. just so i can mm. get that last bit mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Really, really nice. Okay, uh, cool. So I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick some torches on them so that um, everybody can see them. As you see them through the window, you see there's two more Kenku at the top, um, and you scream out their location so everybody is aware of where they are. Yes, amazing. Um, Any, anything you want to do for a bonus? Uh, uh, I don't think there is anything I can do at the moment, uh, but can I finish off my movement and just hide away from the window? Mm -hmm. Of course, Kim. Thank you. Is, should I do a wisdom saving throw? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, 13 again. Oh, man. Um, so, yes, you are still, you're still scared, I'm afraid. Uh, and you're still yeah. frightened. Okay. So you're unable, unable to kind of get out of that. All righty. So we click back to the Kenku. So the Kenku got a seeing that you guys are quite good at close contact. Um, decide to kind of clump, kind of come together a little bit. Uh, and they are going to focus purely on fire. They see that pups is a problem. Um, so they start firing their short bows at him. I'm going to take this one with an advantage. Oh, uh, 14, I don't think it hits you. Doesn't hit. Is that you using a DM advantage? Yep. And I use another DM advantage. 20. 20, 20 hits. For four piercing damage. Uh-huh. Um, as they start to kind of back up a little bit. Uh, as they kind of make their way backwards. Okay, I need to zoom out a little bit for the for our friends at home. There we go. Oh. Something else has just been rolled. What is that? That's strange. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so that's the kind of their, their actions that they are able to do. Um, so we move on to Big Fats. So Big Fats, did you take any damage in the last go? And did you give any get out damage? You did. I attacked in the last go, yeah. Good, good. Um, so Fats is going to move 30 feet. How do I do this again? Oh, I can't remember. 30 feet, which I think takes him to 15, 20, 25, 30. So here, um, as he's going to try and wa work around the far side of like these crates uh, mm -hmm. over here. Um, but seeing that he can't do anything else right now, he's just going to go into dodge. Yep. Good. All right. Pups. Uh... You've just had these like locations of these two guys like screamed at you from Baggy. And you're prone. Don't forget. Yeah, and, and you're I'm prone. prone. Yeah, so you're gonna use half your movement to get up if you want to. Yeah. So it cost me twenty to get up. Um I'll move another twenty. Oh five, in, that ten. In, in that case. 
take away the four piercing damage that you took. Because it would turn into a straight roll. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so DM question. How much would Pops know about rage? Not a lot. Cool. Um, you never saw Tunk get to rage. No. So, no. You don't know a lot about it at all. Okay, cool. So I'm going to curve 5, 10, 15, and 20 up to here. Mm -hmm. I think that is enough. Oh, no, wrong button. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, it's just out of range oh, for that. What a hang shame. On. What a shame. Hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on now. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to throw my plus one dagger at disadvantage at this first Kenku on the right. Go for it. But I'm going to use one of my uh, one of my things to make it a straight roll. To advantages. Okay, cool. Oh! <laughs> to make it... You couldn't get any worse. Like, it's such a punch in the dick. It's like oh. one... One and twenty out of twenty. Oh my ah. word! So you throw your dagger, and it just disappears. And you you think in your head, dong, blades are for fools, Zuha. As you kind of throw your dagger, and you realise that is you should never touch a blade again. As you throw it across, uh, reminded from the great the great uh, darn master that you should never use blades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let that be a um, let that be a, a lesson to all us monks out there. <laughs> oh, you're uh, so annoyed by that as well. So <laughs> mad, <laughs> so mad. Um, but you look up at Asmodeus and you spit at his feet. You know, you spit at his feet. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And then, um, no, I'm not even going to fall prone. I'm just going to stare them down. <laughs> really lovely. Okay, cool. Mad. Mad. Okay, Oshi, you're no longer scared. Um, Oshi's going to hide where she is. Uh, I think I think you, you did hide last time, didn't you? Or no, no, that was Yeah, right but then there. I fired, so. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So let's do a, a stealth and perception. Oh, actually killing it with the stealth rolls. Yeah, wow. Cares not critical. Yeah. Critical <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Your 20, <laughs> stick it up your bum, because I can still be <laughs> hidden. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and you are absolutely hidden now. Just going to short bow it. 10. Can oh, roll it again? if you got any. Yeah, so many bombs. So you many bombs. Bomb. 17. Yeah. 17, that's much better. Yeah, so you hit with a 17. The Who is it you're hitting? Who are you going 11, for? the one on the left. This guy. Uh, or this one. The first one, sorry. Yeah, sorry, my yeah. screen was loading. Yeah. No worries. Okay, so hits for... Okay, what does that look like? Oh, um, I... I Arrow comes out of the darkness and through, um, and it, with such speed and secrecy, it smashes through the beak of the Kenku and like shrapnel, um, it explodes, but some of it explodes back into its skull. So there's just thousands of tiny darts and daggers and arrows going into its head and, to, and loads of blood <laughs> fountains out. <laughs> and it just goes <laughs> and scrubs. <laughs> Remember, for just 23 more subs, you could hear this in full stereo studio sound. <laughs> hashtag Gabby's microphone. Exactly, heavens, Bevan. Hashtag oh, she kills. We're in. I really start, want to start notching because I think you need to notch every time you get a kill like that because that is too good. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, anything else you want to do while you're there? We'll move. Uh, no. that. Okay. No, good. no. Okay, Baggy. <laughs> you are okay, no longer. Baggy's I think you're... the window. Oh yeah, you're still scared, aren't you? Or did you get past it? 
I'm still scared. I'm you quite st- terrified. I'm, I'm still scared. Okay, I'm, cool. I'm so scared. Um, <laughs> can I, as an interaction with an object, attempt to literally just open the window so that no, I can gonna, do I'm shit? Gonna, I'm going to let you do that for free because it's unlocked. So you open oh, it up for free. Oh, thank you. Amazing, um, but I am I am going to ask uh, for a um, let's ask for a, an acrobatics check to see how how nicely you get through the window. Do, do this to me, Jay. <laughs> oh, baggy. Use All right, your bumps. Then. Use your yeah, bumps. Yeah, actually, yeah, I will because I've got quite a few. Thank you, everyone. I'm going <laughs> to do that again with advantage because it's going to be cool. Yeah, not that great. But what you do is sort of like you kind of (laughs) you open the window and you sort of slide through, and you just you think you've nailed it, and then that last moment you realise that your jacket's caught, and you're like, oh, ah!" and you kind of slam (laughs) in, but but you land in a roll and then get onto your feet on the other side. Okay. And as she's doing that, she's got through to the other side, and uh, as she's rolling because she still wants to be cool, she's going to just pull out her crossbow. And fire it. Wow, this is the first time that we've seen the crossbow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Crossbow is that crossbow, crossbow. Homemade, mate. Homemade. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that yes. definitely hits. It's a four! <laughs> okay, so yes. you have a four damage. This is like crossbow bow. Oh. Oh, my apologies, guys. I have just gone onto onto Google suddenly. Um uh, as you go for, for four. Four damage <coughs> as it slides four across. Damage. Four Google four, damage. Four Google um, damage. Which means you've probably hidden it in a Cayman Island so nobody can can get anywhere near it. Um, <laughs> nice. that's, why, that's why you haven't seen it yet. It's because exactly. it Political uh, yeah. yet entertaining here on Savatage DM. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just waiting for my... Just Let's just wait. <laughs> waiting for things to reload. Okay. So um, I think we're bringing it back. Home. So this, this crossbow boat, like, cross the side as you like. And you reload, uh, reload, getting ready for the for the next attack. Okay, so I yeah. think the next people to attack will be the Kenku singular, mm-hmm. who's left. Um, sorry, I'm still waiting for my we're waiting for it to reload. My apologies, everybody at home. How's everyone at home? Are you having good fun? Are you having a good time? You good. Um, we're having you... enough. Zach's here. Zach's just Zach! jumped in. Oh, Zach's here! Yay! He said his work lurking. Zach, you look. We, you got loads of followers, mate. Yeah, we We've went got over. Followers. We went over and got you over the line, my friend. We love you. We did a little break rave. We did a big raid and just completely sorted it out. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're back. Um, so yes, yeah, so you took this guy out for four. Fantastic. Uh, it's like a pretty one, isn't it? And you re reload. I think the Kenku then sees you by the boxes and it's going to go for a fire, but you are uh, currently in half cover. Excellent. So you get plus two to your AC as it fires with the short bow at you. It misses. It misses. Okay, cool. It's like, yeah. and then he kind of misses past your, just past your head. Okay, big fats. Um, you now know that there is one left. Your rage has gone down. Yep, you've taken cool. no damage and you have not hit anybody. Um, he's going to use uh, his 30 feet to get to here. Oh, fucking torch, man. Fucking torch. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I need to figure out a new system to allow you to have no, you're all because <laughs> you're light <laughs> But I kept thinking in my head, it's like, what happens if he wants to drop it? So I was like, if I'll make it real, so then you can drop it if you want to. <laughs> no, you're you're dead right. I just need to select everything. Um, as he's there, um, can he do a perception check of the statue? Yep. Just to see if it looks in any way strange. I mean, an Asmodeus statue in the middle of Waterdeep. Hidden in a warehouse is strange, but um, just to get some further insight as to what it is. Mm-hmm. It's 14. a 14. 
Okay, so you know that, that um, I mean, A, a statue of Asmodeus would be not technically illegal, but would be a, certainly frowned upon in a city such as Waterdeep. Um, and you think who would be able to afford a statue this size? Because uh, it is quite an elaborate, large statue. Which makes you think that maybe a noble or maybe somebody of that kind of rank would have been able to get such a statue. Great. I'm also going to say with that uh, 14, um, you see um, a family emblem on one of the boxes. But I'm not going to give you which family yet. Okay, cool. All right. Um, Fat is going to... um try his best to hunker down beside (laughs) some of these boxes not going full into prone but if it gets him any additional cover okay um yeah so you sort of like i'll allow for the the hidden cover from from the uh kenku for sure sweet and that's me okay pups okay pups is gonna come in 5 10 15 20 to there and quarter staff to the face. 25. Pow. Yeah, it hits. For 10. Nice. What does it look like? So <laughs> full of fury <laughs> after you killed pausing everybody. up that dagger. <laughs> I think I nearly did. <laughs> Comes running forwards. Like ducks, up, like slides on his knees, ducks under an attack with the short sword, takes out a knee. Um, sort of comes to the other side here and then like leaps off two feet take off and sort of hangs in the air and then lands like two feet on the back of the head and just into the ground really nice okay cool so we're coming out of um do they see this 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 what three and a half foot it's about three and a half foot yeah three and a half foot like ball like and then just squash as he sort of squashes this thing as we go out of turn order uh and you guys are now in this this warehouse kind of alone um what would you guys like to do let's go from there uh fat is gonna look at the emblem closer on the box okay let's just do a history check on that please Ooh. Oh, oh! It's a big fat too. No, I'm afraid not. You're not quite sure. You know it's a noble family, but you're not sure who it is. Um. Well, he's just gonna. How big is the box? Is it pick up a book? No, it's quite big. It's no, these are like standard storage size storage size boxes. So they're right. Big. Uh, well, fat's gonna shout out. Are we done? We killed him. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Joe? Yeah, I'm still here. I've got a fluctuation. I'm having ah. fluctuations, but I am still here. Okay. I am we need still to here. time them. If it gets to a minute in between, we have to take you to the hospital. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so and also if you've done a minute it's too late okay so let's so let's have a look so anybody else everybody shouts like yeah yeah good we're all good we're all fine um what else do you guys want to do in here do you want to have a look around uh, Becky, do you want to have a look uh, yeah i want to rummage in some of these boxes in the warehouse to be like what else are they storing here you know okay well let's do a, let's do a perception check Nice. Break the bow. It's nice. a 20. Okay, so over here, you notice that the there's like a scraping on the floor. Like, it looks as if it's like an arcway from the wall itself. And you see like a little scrape. Oh, I, I want to go up to the scrape. 
I want to go see the scrape. Mommy, I want to go see, see the scrape. scrape. Is okay, it like a scrape, like a door would open and scrape? Or... Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. But does it not appear that there's a door there? No, it looks like a completely Excellent. solid wall. Okay, great. Uh, whilst she's going up to the call over to Pups, who I think would be able to hear her quite easy and just be like, Pups, Tell Oshi to get all of you over here now. Like hinting to use the stone. Um, okay. So as you as you kind of make your way up, Pops, you hear something else, but I'm going to wait. You've got to stay where you are for a second. Yeah. Um, as Pops, uh, as Baki kind of makes her way up to this room. So you you find this kind of like, what looks like a hidden, like a, a wall. It doesn't look like anything to you. So let's do a quick investigation. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. 22? Very, very nice. <laughs> so um, you open the door and it's, there's a secret chamber inside the wall. Um, inside you find um, four wooden framed paintings wrapped in leather. The paintings depict cities of Luscan. Neverwinter, Silver Moon, and Baldur's Gate, and they're each worth seventy-five gold pieces each. Oh, mm. nice! Yeah. You also, in a second crate, you find um, something that contains uh, ten pounds of silver trade bars that are worth fifty gold pieces each. Oh my god! So yes. that's five hundred gold pieces worth of stuff, uh, plus the paintings. They were always found. my favourite flavour of trade bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Delicious. And then um, I've, I just missed. Sorry, I was thinking. I was thinking. I missed who just followed us or subbed us. I didn't see Alex. That was Alex Bell. Alex Bell, we love what you. What a betrayer! Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pups, you hear like a dun 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 boom 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 as from a doorway um I I just tried to click on the the thing again. From here you can hear somebody like boom 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 Um can I quickly check see if there's any keys on these two Kenku and then go over. Um, on the Kenko, there are no keys at all whatsoever on them. Um, okay. But when you go over, it, you go to grab the door, and it feels as if the door is barricaded from the inside. Okay. Um, a shout out and uh, to everyone. Go. I think I think I've found someone. I need to burst this door open. And then they got to go silent behind the door. And then you just hear this stuff being moved. As the door opens. And behind, uh, you see um, this strawberry blonde gentleman. Um, they kind of like, it's huddled in the corner. And he kind of looks at you and he's like, Ah! Please tell me you're here to save me. Are you Floon Blagma? Oh, oh covered God, no. in blood. And he's like, no, no. Oh my God, you're terrifying. No. <laughs> no. Who are you? I'm Raynar Neverember. Then it's your lucky day. We're here to save you. Oh my god, and he kind of puts his hand out and then goes to grab a hold of your arm. It's like, oh god, and sort of stands up through it. Oh, oh, oh god, thank you so much. <sighs> what happened? Uh, they they took us, me and my good friend, of course. I uh, I would have attacked them myself if my weapon wasn't taken. Uh, and Pups, you notice actually that he is, um, he has a particular hand grip, which makes you think that 
actually he's a fairly good swords person. Mm -hmm. And he's like, they took us and oh, they tortured us. Me, to be honest. They took my locket as well. Taken by my mother. Morning locket. They took me upstairs what? and tortured me. What for? What were they looking for? <laughs> they seem to think that I know something about, the, about something my father did. He kind of looks at you guys. He's sort of trying to figure out if he can trust you guys or not. We have nothing to fear now. He's going to do You're an safe. insight check. He's going to do an insight check on that. Could he do a persuasion? Mm-hmm. <laughs> shall I, shall, no, I'm not going to re-roll it. <laughs> how do you? How do I know that you're not here to just to kill me and take whatever reward these ruffians seem to think? And then he notices the Kenku. It's like, oh my god, who are they? They attacked us in here while we were trying to find you. They must have been the ones that's attacked. Are they in black armor? No. They're okay. not. See, they uh, they dragged me upstairs, tortured me, and telling me that that I should know something about my, what my father did. I know nothing, and then they took my my locket for my mother, and then they brought me back downstairs, and then they took poor Floon upstairs. And then there's somebody else started attacking, so I hid in the cupboard. They must have... Is Floon here? Please tell me you haven't seen his body. I don't think so. Maybe they're still upstairs. Oh, God, no. Do you want to help save him? Of course. Pup's just, like, lo looks over to one of the Kenkus and just, like, digs his heel into the ground. And, like, one of the short swords just, like, whoosh, into his hand, spins it round hands it to him but he kind of like takes hold of it and flips it on his hand and puts it into his palm balanced enough please we must find him do I believe this guy do an insight check mm -hmm. <laughs> he chooses to <laughs> fail he looks at you looking at him and he just goes I am the lowest of the low that is of the Lord's because of what my father did. I do not need to be looked at in that way. I'm not lying to you. Very well. If you uh, care to look, there's a dagger kicking around here somewhere that I don't want anymore. Feel free to pick that up again. And then uh, Pops just calls over to everyone to come and join Got a live one. Kind of steps out. <laughs> I love oh. that your camera shakes when you do that as well. That was so <laughs> perfect. Oh my. Wow. Wow. And what is what is your name? Big Fast. Are you um... He's gonna run and roll a history check on that actually. The name Big Fats. Ooh. Is that enough? Yeah, yeah. sure. Why not? It's like Corporal Big Fats. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, yeah. You were in my father's army. Well, I don't remember him. <laughs> no one ever, never remembers the remember, remembers, remember. Yeah, that's clever. <laughs> Why were you hiding in the wall? Well, because they were torturing me. Right. And they took Floon. And then these ones, and she kind of, kind of like gestures to the Kenku, who seemed to have attacked and took him elsewhere. Well, we've been sent to find him, so... 
You reckon they're upstairs and that's where we're going to go? And then suddenly the windows smash in. As these guards begin, the city guard begin to smash in through the door, through the windows. The doors kind of kick in. And it's like like 20 or maybe 30 guards sort of kick in through the sides. Uh, and they stand there and all of their swords shoo, get drawn and point towards you. As we fade to black. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think oh, that, okay. adequately, that adequately conveyed Evie's face when the guards came in, just oh, so yeah. over it. I was eye rolling. It hurt my eyeballs to do that many eye rolls. I was oh, like, no. <laughs> All righty. So um, you guys did really well today. Uh, managed to kind of get through the first half of the first part of planning I did for last week. Um, <laughs> so really, really well done. Um but yes, interesting. We've now got a lord. The lord is now involved. Mm. Yes, Lord Never Ember. The lord is always involved, Joe. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but Lord Never Ember, who you've now saved in some way. Still have not found flu, however. No. Mm, interesting. Nice. nice to have so, a lord I though. I know, right? As long as you don't threaten him or like treat him like shit or something, I'm sure he'd be fine and he'll stay with you guys. Nice to have a gambling mechanic in D&D as well. Yeah. I'm up for that. <laughs> oh, good. All based no. on bluffing as well, rather than like the game mechanic. I love that. It's exactly. It just absolutely has to be by bluffing. Um, But yes, yeah, so you have killed some Kenku. You are now in control. You've now controlled this area. However, um, a new complication has now arisen. Uh, for you guys to kind of deal with uh, as we go into the next section of this investigation. So the search, Floon Blackmar, uh, quite possibly the most important person in Waterdeep as we speak. Um, but he did really, really well. Um, none of you died. That's a good sign, right? Woo! Exactly. Uh, anything you guys want to talk about with this, with what's just happened? Uh, are you excited about what's going to happen next? Like, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> I mean, I was persuaded that that big Asmodeus statue was going to come to life and we were going to yeah. fight, fight that. So oh, well, I I'm thought not, I was going I'm to fight it by cruel. myself when everyone else was afraid of it. I was like, well, guess it's me then. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, not that cruel. I would never do no. that to level two, as I promise. Oh. Level two, nah. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed perhaps taking out three of the four. Kenki, I know. just like a complete animal today, like <laughs> <laughs> so good, so so yeah, good, nice. really, really well done. Um, but yeah, Thanks so I think, <laughs> so I think now it's going to become an interesting moment of like how you deal with the next part of the situation, as it seems to get more and more complicated as you become more and more entwined in this seemingly simple job, which has become mm. more and more difficult by the hour did baggy get to pocket any of that valuables oh okay. she's like carrying everything. oh she's got it all yeah got it yeah all. it's in pockets he's carrying the pictures like literally Four the massive end picture frames <laughs> yeah, massive. Yeah. all we right didn't rob the place yeah. and kill everyone in it no obviously we didn't do anything um, is there anything anybody wants to say before we leave, uh, before we close up? Because we are a little bit late today than we usually are. Um, no. Other than the fact that if you've got stuff to, if you're not, uh, if you're not signing off at the same time as us, join us because we're going to do a little raid after this. Oh yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, we're going to find us another D and D page, and we're going to raid them. We've had some amazing numbers today, guys. So please, yeah, stick around for a little raid if you fancy it. I'm going to load that up in well, probably about ten seconds after we do the sign off. Nice, 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 nice. All righty. Well, uh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for all the follows, for the subs today. Um, thank you for kind of sticking with us through some of our technical issues as per usual. And we will see you on Friday because we have the rerun of uh, Black Star Lane Season 2, if you fancy joining us there. And then on Sunday, mm, I'm also going to pop on as well and say hi to everybody and maybe talk about some monsters or something. I haven't quite figured out what to do yet. So that would be Sunday and Friday we'll be doing something interesting. I'll keep you guys posted. Other than that, um, continue uh, being safe. Continue planning heists against your landlords 
and against those who have the money in front of you. <laughs> and uh, stay safe and keep playing role-playing games. Big love. Big love. Big love. Big love.